Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Marvel's Super God Game Producer. Chapter 81 Tony swears, this is the first time he has been picked up by a smart butler after living for so long. Moreover, this setting is still a man. Dry, however, just as Tony sat down on the sofa, the voice of J.A.R.V.I.S. sounded again. He is unusually talkative today. Sir, it's not me that you want to thank, but Mr. Shu Dan. Shu Dan. Tony was taken aback. Speaking of Shu Dan, he can be considered a friend now and can make friends with businessmen. Shu Dan is his only exception. Speaking of Shu Dan, Tony secretly thought it was bad, because he hadn't signed into Warcraft for several days. Sign off. Just when his thoughts broke down, J.A.R.V.I.S. said, Sir, please go downstairs and have a look. Oh, J.A.R.V.I.S., you're acting weird today. Tony turned to Pepper with a puzzled face and asked, Pepper, did you prepare something with Teeves? Question mark quote. When Xiao Zhao was asked, she immediately replied innocently, No, I have been looking for news about you through various channels these days, and I have no time to come here. That's weird, J-A-R-V-I-S, what the hell is it? While asking, Tony still got up and walked down the stairs. When he walked into his laboratory, the few small machines he had invented before started to move immediately. One of them moved in front of him, and followed, projecting a figure. That's exactly what Shu Dan was searching for here that day. J-A-R-V-I-S recorded it completely and reproduced it for Tony. Tony was silent. Mr. Stark was kidnapped. Well, and he's hurt. We need to rescue Mr. Stark. I've already gone to the rescue. Thank you, sir. No, it's time to do. I'm leaving. Thank you again for Mr. Stark, sir. Say no, let's go. Maid, I finally tricked the Tony who knows how to play games all day long, and the plan has been delayed for more than half a year, really. There was a long silence. Little Pepper stayed in front of the door. She looked at the back of Tony Stark who was slowly becoming lonely, and felt distressed for a while. Tony hasn't shed a tear since the time he lost his parents. Because he wants to be in charge of the family, he wants to be a man, and he cannot shed tears easily. But now, tears are rolling in his eyes, his teeth are clenched, his masseter muscles are raised, and he is desperately enduring it. When he was in the cave, he doubted everyone, except Obadiah. After all, he was a friend of his father's, grew up with him, and he treated him like an uncle. But never expected that in the end this person not only betrayed him, but even put him to death. Now he should thank those terrorists for not killing him immediately after discovering that he is, Tony Stark. It was also absolutely unexpected that the one who saved him in the end was actually that friend whom he had known not long ago. Not Rod, not Happy, not Nick. It's Shu Dan. Life. Projection ends here. Tony sniffled and gritted his teeth, but was hugged tightly by Pepper from behind. Little Pepper, let go, I'm going to kill Obadiah. No, no, Tony, you calm down. Open, do not. Pepper's tears finally persuaded Tony's anger. At this time, J.A.R.V.I.S. said in a timely manner, Sir, I think these are what Mr. Shu Dan wants you to see. Dan, in Tony's heart, Shu Dan's status has been raised to the first level. What about the game Godfather, that is his savior? Need me to contact him now, sir? J.A.R.V.I.S. asked again. No, I'll go find him myself. But it's already night. Okay, I'll go tomorrow morning. In the early morning of the next day, Tony quickly boarded a sports car and drove straight towards CJFC, Shu Dan's house. In fact, he didn't sleep all night. Shu Dan often wakes up early recently, and his strong physique overwhelms his extremely strong restraint ability. Most people sleep in light sleep, but he can directly sleep for six hours in a prescribed deep sleep. Resting for six hours like this is better than the average person sleeping for ten hours. Hearing the prompt from the security system, he knew that it was Tony who had come to visit. There is no need for him to go to open the door, just give permission, and the door with the automatic program will open. Looking at the approaching figure, Shu Dan smiled. Morning, did you read the evening news yesterday? It said that after Stark Industries shut down its weapons manufacturing industry, it would soon be defeated by Antarctic Corporation, and Stark is getting smaller and smaller, and Antarctic is getting bigger and bigger. Of. Please, buddy, don't hurt me early in the morning. 
I don't have any psychological burden to close the weapon manufacturing industry. I can close it with peace of mind and comfort. Comfortable, stimulated. If you come here, you will find it very exciting. Yes, thanks. Shu Dan glared at Tony with a look of disgust. Okay, I don't like fluff, let alone a man with an unshaven beard. Tony received a 50,000 crit hit. But there is nothing to do now. After all, the person in front of him is the one who saved him once. Actually, I came here today. Besides thanking you in person, there is one more thing. What's the matter? Shu Dan said, by the way, if you thank me, don't mention it, just help me start my hardware technology department. Tony nodded, and then said, you deliberately asked JARVIS to give me a hint, and then, according to the hint, I checked Obadiah again and found some incredible secrets. What secret? He made a battle suit. Shu Dan frowned, thinking about this question. Obadiah created Obadiah so quickly, to be honest, he was still surprised in his heart. Even if Tony made the Mark II, it wasn't that fast. There is only one possibility, and that is when Tony was trapped in the cave, he also participated in the surveillance. Otherwise, how could it be produced so quickly? This is indeed a difficult question for you. Shu Dan patted Tony on the shoulder. This is indeed the case. After he calmed down last night, he also thought about directly using the police to arrest Obadiah. But when he saw the Iron Overlord, he didn't dare to act rashly. Suddenly, Shu Dan picked up the coat on the hanger, and said casually, I don't know how much time it will take to solve Obadiah for you, so how about it, you start helping me with hardware technology development today, and I go and help you solve Obadiah, I believe you should understand the rest, right? Confused, Tony followed Shu Dan to a rare Chinese restaurant in New York and had breakfast. For the first time in my life, I felt that there is a food that is more delicious than hamburgers, called Rujamo. Dan, are you sure you're going to deal with Obadiah? He has a battle suit. Sure, after lunch. Dan, are you sure you're going to deal with Obadiah? He has a battle suit. After finishing the work of the hardware technology department in the afternoon. Dan, are you sure you're going to deal with Obadiah? He's got a battle suit. That's right. B. Dan, are you sure you're going to deal with Obadiah? He has a battle suit. This is already the fourth time he has asked Shu Dan. This time, Shu Dan was really impatient and said, he only has a battle suit and an egg, and he has no batteries. However, as soon as the words fell, Tony's pocket phone rang. It wasn't someone calling him in, but a reminder from JARVIS. What is it, JARVIS? Sir, just now Obadiah broke into the room and stole the reactor you replaced. Tony, Shu Dan, A D E R T I S E M E N T. This is absolutely amazing. Shu Dan laughed angrily. Did you leave any traces when you checked Obadiah last night? Ah, can you hack into others without leaving any traces? Clothes. By the way, how did he know that I put the old arc reactor in the workshop? When a blind cat meets a dead mouse, it knows that you have checked him. Can he not be in a hurry? Then what should I do? I don't have a battle suit yet. Originally, after Tony returned, he has been rushing to create a new and decent battle suit. But I've been, working, at Antarctic Company all day today, so I don't have time to be busy at all. Didn't I say it? Shu Dan put down the barbecue in his hand, picked up the beer and took a sip, I'll do it. Tony was not at ease with Shu Dan, he felt that he had at least experienced battles, how could Shu Dan fight against that kind of battle suit by himself? However, Shu Dan didn't want to listen to Tony's dissuasion, and directly found the location from Badia. Bang, bang, bang. As soon as the two arrived, they heard the heavy footsteps from far to near. Iron Overlord, a battle armor with a lot of firepower, and its defense is amazing. Just looking at it gives people a sense of oppression. I think we should leave quickly. However, Shu Dan smiled disdainfully, and his gaze was fixed on the dim arc reactor on Iron Tyrant's chest. Originally, the huge amounts of body of the Iron Bully consumes a lot of energy, and now it is still equipped with an old battery, so there is nothing to worry about. You stay in the car, I'll come as I go. With that said, Shu Dan unbuckled his seat belt, opened the door and got out of the car without fear. After getting off the car, he called out the system's point mall. To deal with iron bumps like the Iron Overlord, he would never be able to smash them with his hands, he must have a good weapon. 
Equipment Bar, Blade of Ogum, 500,000 points. Dragon Tooth Blade, 500,000 points. Corpse Harvester, 300,000 points. Buy the Blade of Orgum. Beep. Purchased successfully. Owen's Blade is a blue quality one handed sword, which increases strength, agility, endurance, and a passive effect, that is, melee attacks can corrode the target. It couldn't be more suitable for dealing with iron turtles like the Iron Overlord. Far away. After Obadiah successfully installed, he couldn't wait to sit on it. Because he wanted to take advantage of the darkness and quickly kill Tony Stark to silence him. Otherwise, his secret will always be kept in Tony's heart, which is not a good thing after all. Those trash men didn't kill Tony, now he has to do it himself. However, when he came out in the Iron Overlord, then I saw the lights of the car, the car stopped, and a young man got off from it. I saw him gesticulating in front of him with empty hands, as if he was saying Amen to Jesus. But soon he was dumbfounded, the young man conjured a long sword out of thin air. He he ha. I saw that the idiot must have not woken up, he dared to deal with my iron tyrant with a broken sword. Wait, this looks familiar, Shu Dan. After it was Shu Dan, the sarcasm on Obadiah's face became more obvious, I think you kid must be playing a game stupidly, and you want to chop me with a broken sword, I stand up and let you chop. Shu Dan was not polite, he held the long sword, exerted force under his feet, and rushed forward with a leap. After going through medium level strengthening, his body is like iron, and his strength has grown explosively. With this jump, not only Obadiah, the person involved, was stunned, but even Tony in the car was stunned. That kind of jumping intensity is simply not something that humans can do today. With that leap, he turned into a black shadow and leapt more than ten feet away. The long sword in his hand shone with a faint cold light, and he chopped down on the iron tyrant's head without any hesitation. Clang! Generally speaking, when steel meets steel, there will be a crisp sound, but when the sword goes down, it is extremely low. Looking around, it turned out that Iron Tyrant's head had been cut open. The sword in his hand is just an ordinary level 50 blue weapon, not a magical weapon in Warcraft. But with this, he single-handedly cut through Iron Overlord tortoise-like solid stone defense. The head is the deadliest position of the human body. It's just that Obadiah's bald head didn't stick close to the helmet of the Iron Overlord, and he couldn't kill him with a single blow. Iron Overlord body was relatively large, and there were only some aiming devices installed on his head. Almost the entire body of Obadiah was actually an Iron Overlord torso. Monster. Looking up at the crack on the helmet, Obadiah was startled, and hurriedly drove the arm of the Iron Bully to shoot towards Shu Dan. It's a pity, Shu Dan's current speed, how can it be possible that a mere cumbersome iron turtle can touch it? He didn't even need to dodge, but directly pressed the tip of his sword against the iron tyrant's fist, turned around with his strength, and got behind the iron tyrant. Clang! Another sword strike, this time, Shu Dan didn't cut those hard parts directly, but used his skills to cut near the joints. The weakness of the machine lies in the joints. No matter how hard Iron King's tortoise shell is, his joints can't be made of the same material and design, or he won't be able to move at all. When this sword went down, it actually cut off the careful hydraulic pipe on the arm of the Iron Overlord, causing the entire right arm of the Iron Overlord to lose its power support. Iron Overlord arm is a dual hydraulic power system, simply destroying a single hydraulic pressure exposed on the surface has no effect unless two hydraulic pressure is destroyed at the same time. The pipeline is different. Without the pipeline, the hydraulic device can only be used as scrap iron. Because the right arm lost its power support, the whole arm was hanging down weakly, and Obadiah pressed the fire in a panic, and all his body fell to the ground. Da da da, the bullets fired by the Gatling mounted on his arm exploded like popcorn, Shudan dodged immediately to avoid being hit by the ejected bullets. Right arm power system damage. Fake, Obadiah cursed angrily shut down his weapon, and drove Iron Bully Wong Li to turn around immediately. On the left arm of Iron Overlord, there are still a few rockets installed, and he is not afraid of the loss of firepower. In his opinion, as long as anyone hits Shu Dan, then victory can be declared. After all, everyone is a mortal body, who is not afraid of a bullet. Tony is such a genius, he gave me such armor. Obadiah's panic was gradually replaced by complacency. 
he turned around, and facing Xu Dan was a rocket without any hesitation. Boom, the violent explosion lit up the night sky. Also showed the result, it didn't hit Xu Dan. Hateful. It was impossible for Xu Dan to catch a rocket. He used wind walk to enter the stealth state. With various abilities added to his body, his movements became more agile in the stealth state. He quickly walked around the back of the Iron Overlord, facing the joint of his left arm, he slashed down with all his strength. Clang. Without any accidents, this sword directly cut off Obadiah's power, and the steel outer armor was cut off in half even at the joint, leaving a cut mark of about 10 centimeters. Its left arm appeared to be in a more embarrassing situation than the right arm, hanging in the air and smashing to death. This sword also caused the one-handed sword in his hand to curl a little bit. After all, it was only blue equipment, and it had to deal with steel smelted by modern technology. A little damage is also reasonable. After all, the reinforced steel has been cut with a cut mark of about 10 centimeters. It can be seen the power of this sword. If the so-called famous knives sold in modern shops, it might have been broken when he hid it for the first time. This blue equipment is quite good. Slaughtered Obadiah, sacrificed in his blood. The Iron Overlord who has lost his arms is like a tiger whose teeth have been pulled out. This is also the problem with models like the Iron Man. For a battle suit like Iron Man, even if the arm has suffered some damage, it can still be lifted by manpower. As long as the weapon system is still there, the battle can continue. And the current Iron Overlord can't raise his arms at all. There is only a pair of huge big feet, but they can't keep up with Shu Dan's figure at all. Obadiah never thought that he would lose so badly. He didn't even have a fight with Shu Dan, he just lost. 1. Not reconciled. However, Shu Dan couldn't control whether he was reconciled, the long sword in his hand burst out with a dazzling light like the sun in August. That dazzling sword light shone for a hundred meters around like daylight. That's Bladestorm. That relatively small figure of Shu Dan just stood in front of the Iron Overlord. One man, one sword. Although the difference in body size is huge, the aura of Shu Dan at the moment is far more domineering than the Iron Overlord. The Iron Overlord had just made his debut, and before he had fought for a long time, he was beheaded by Shu Dan with one sword and lost his combat history. One of the steel arms was almost cut off. What strength is that? It is obviously just a long sword that looks very ordinary, unless it is extremely powerful, how can it be possible to cut through such a sword mark? And at the moment, within Shu Dan's long sword, a sword light erupted. The layers of sword lights hit the center of Iron Overlord, which is where Obadiah is. Kang 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 Kang. The sound of metal clanging was endless, and the blade storm lasted for seven seconds, and it turned out that the huge Iron King was pushed nearly ten meters away. What kind of ability is this? After the sword light dissipated, it was discovered that the entire Iron Overlord had changed beyond recognition. The originally smooth body shape has now become scrap iron, with holes all over the whole body. And the arc reaction furnace inlaid in the center has been chopped into powder by Jian Guang. As for Obadiah himself, his body was not directly hurt by the sword light. Instead, he was slashed by that sword and was shocked to death alive. This is a pretty brutal way to die. Shu Dan looked up, the dead bald man was bleeding from all seven orifices, and his body was seriously shapeshifting. Ugly. He raised the long sword in his hand and threw it violently. The weapon that was exchanged just now stabbed directly at Obadiah's chest. Leonrin and the Iron Overlord were knocked down to the ground together. In the car, Tony witnessed the scene just now. For the first time, he discovered that this game developer who often talked to him actually had such terrifying fighting power. So scary. Now he is unconsciously thinking back, if he didn't show enough respect when they met for the first time, would he have turned him into a pulp? If he didn't agree with him in the last cooperation, would he be chopped into 18 pieces and fed to the dogs? Scared, he actually became friends with such a powerful human being. Lucky. Luckily he and Shu Dan became friends. Otherwise, if it becomes a commercial enemy, then will not be assassinated. Tony, who had experienced a kidnapping, was so cranky. However, they didn't realize that Shu Dan had already clapped his hands and walked towards the car indifferently. Boom, when the car door slammed, Chen Dan was already in the driver's seat. Okay, now you know what to do. Mr. Obadiah was in a car accident. 
Tony nodded silently. At this moment, how dare he say anything, who can stand it if he is hacked to pieces? Yes, it is. Then you say hello to S.H.I.E.L.D., before the police will surround the place tomorrow. Yep, Tony was still reminiscing about the scene of Shu Dan fighting just now, because that scene was too shocking, until the two returned to the night snack bar, his face was still stiff. That's not being scared, but being shocked. Shocked that the people around me have such fighting power. This strengthened Tony's belief in upgrading and manufacturing the Mark series steel battle suit as soon as possible, but before that, he still had to fulfill the promise he made to Shu Dan. Obadiah's death, Tony didn't have any nostalgia in his heart, although he used to treat it as a relative, but after discovering the truth of the matter, he was enough for the pain of that night. With Obadiah dead, Stark Industries is at peace. Although other shareholders also agreed to close the arms manufacturing industry, no one has the ability to assassinate Tony anymore. After that, Shu Dan can wait for Tony to come to work every day with peace of mind. Definitely, Tony is unpaid, he is not short of money at all. Even if Stark Industries does not sell arms, it is still the number one company in the world. Tony, a rich second generation, does not worry about money at all. He comes to Antarctic Company every day just for a promise made at the beginning, and to show gratitude to Shu Dan. Since I promised to help Shu Dan develop hardware devices, I will do it. He also introduced Ethan, a physicist he met in the cave, into Shu Dan's Antarctic Hardware Technology Department. Ethan, a physicist, was the mainstay of the department when Tony was away. When Tony comes, he can only be an assistant. Scientific research does not distinguish between ages, it is only determined by ability. Similarly, Shu Dan also wore a white coat and joined the development team. In order to create a device capable of running virtual holographic games as soon as possible, he is working with all his strength. This is a great cause to give players all over the world a new world. A super game that realizes 70% of the world's population is online. After so many days of watching, he has learned many techniques. This learning process is much faster than in books. Suddenly, he had an idea. Looking at the team members who were scrambling on the workbench, he suddenly had an idea. I especially remember that when Tony developed the Mark series battle suit, JARVIS helped a lot. Even a lot of work is done by JARVIS in calculations. Tony just needs to order. Now this development team needs such an intelligent program. It feels like at least half the workload can be saved. If you want to write an intelligent auxiliary program, you can do it with Shu Dan's method, but the intelligent program does not grow out of thin air. The initial intelligent program, that is, a newborn baby, needs to be constantly learned. Whether this learning process is long or short, Chen Dan doesn't know. But now, he has a better option. Tony, let me go away. After saying that, he walked out of the newly opened department and took the special elevator to the upper floor. On the top floor, he found Sky. Sky, the top hacker, has gained a certain amount of respect and power in the company through his own efforts. She is solely responsible for the work of updating the version. Sky, it's time to update the version of Crossfire, this time directly open the Resident Evil mode. Hearing the sound, Sky was overjoyed at first, because the male god Shudan came to him on his own initiative. Then, he was stunned again. Boss, isn't it confirmed that the Resident Evil mode will be activated next month? Our system announcements have already been sent out. Sky explained. Shu Dan frowned slightly, is there any date recently? Sky's heart was confused, he was secretly delighted and afraid at the same time, could it be that this big boss god is finally going to sneak up on her? Come on, come on. But after thinking about it, she was disappointed for a while, and she replied, the nearest Christmas is half a month away. By the way, today is December 10th, World Human Rights Day. What? Shu Dan said that he had never heard of such a festival. Seeing Shu Dan's expression, Sky understood. Taking World Human Rights Day as a dating day is a bit of a stretch. Unexpectedly, Shu Dan's next words made her petrified. I saw that Shu Dan looked at the phone and said, Well, it's really World Human Rights Day, so just for this festival, activate the biohazard mode in advance, congratulations. For this order from the boss, Sky has no room to refuse. Nodding his head, he replied, Of order, my big boss. 
At six o'clock in the afternoon that day, all the players who were still massacring transport ships and sniping in Overwatch City suddenly received a reminder. Announcement to the whole server. This game will be updated online in 10 seconds, and the update will last for 60 seconds. At that time, individual players may freeze, please understand. Announcement to the whole server. This update can be accommodated as, opening the biochemical crisis mode. This announcement is in one place, and all players of, Crossfire, cheer. If there is one thing they like most about, Crossfire, it is definitely those grey modes, and the pictures on the page look very attractive. If you can enter and play for a while, then you will fulfill the ultimate dream of gunplay players. Exit the game. Exit the game. Exit the game. One by one, they can't care about other things at all, just close the game they are currently playing, quit the price, and wait silently on the main page. After the incomparably long 60 seconds passed, sure enough, among those few grey options, the Resident Evil 1 was finally Yu Liang. Point. Players go crazy. Fortunately, Crossfire, has already used the new server of Stark Industries, otherwise it will definitely freeze. Zombies. This refreshing theme, appeared in Yu-Gi-Oh! for the first time. Although, Crossfire, also has its own biochemical mode, but in everyone's opinion, that is not called biochemical mode, but should be called monster fighting mode. Because those so-called zombies are not like zombies at all. In the Resident Evil mode, players deeply experience the world's first horror game. The horrible and disgusting zombies are running towards you in front of the screen, and they are so real. Unless you forcibly lower the picture quality. However, when playing games with extreme graphics quality, the machine can run smoothly, who would like to play games with low graphics quality? Get Jiao and the first paragraph of this, horror game, made the players deeply remember those zombies and a little girl, the Red Queen. They were almost frightened to death by that terrifying smile of the Red Queen, and they were strangled on the spot in a few internet cafes. Similarly, in the Antarctic game mansion, Shudan is also paying attention to the Red Queen. But not from the computer game, but from the system's point mall. With the launch of, Crossfire, and, Prototype, the number of redeemable items in his point mall has increased a lot. There is Brother A's Black Light Virus, but the current conditions are not yet available for purchase. This is the only thing worth buying in, Prototype. And, crossing the line of fire, is too rich and too much gas. Just the various firearms, grenades, weapons, and equipment are dazzling. Those ordinary firearms are very cheap in the System Point Mall. An ordinary M16 is only 5,000 points. Just 5,000 points. If he has nothing to do, he can buy some M16s and sell them as scrap iron. Definitely, he is not short of money either. Flipping through the pages of firearms, he finally found something from Resident Evil on page 58. Common Zombie Virus. 900,000 points. Zombie Dog Virus. 1,200,000 points. Liquor Virus. 1,800,000 points. I didn't expect that this point mall could sell the corresponding virus directly. Is it so targeted? In Shu Dan's memory, there were only ordinary zombies in Resident Evil at the beginning, and with the evolution of the virus, monsters such as liquors appeared. The system point mall directly gave out the relevant virus, it seems that once you buy it and use it on the target, you can turn the target into a corresponding monster. Wrong. Why did Lao Tzu engage in such a thing on earth? Isn't this the old birthday star who hanged himself and thought he had a long life? Directly ignoring the zombie virus series, he continued to search for treasures in the points mall. Finally found information about the Red Queen. Red Queen. 80 million points. Red Queen frame, 8 million points. The second is a, 0 feet cheaper than the first. Actually which one to choose, Shudan already knew very well in his heart. Children only make choices, rich adults want everything. 88 million points, less than 100 million, is acceptable. Rich and willful, now the background points have exceeded 200 million. There is no pressure to spend less than half of the points. This time it was mainly Red Empress who spent more, 80 million. Otherwise, no matter how rich Shudan is, it is impossible to spend so many points to buy a smart program, so he might as well do it himself. There is only one reason for the big money to buy Red Queen, that is, Red Queen holds all the research and development results and experimental data of the Umbrella Company. Others are not important, 
These materials are treasures. Very useful for biological sciences. I don't know if the information in it can help the production of the virtual game helmet, but it can definitely help the Antarctic Biotechnology branch. Beep. Purchased successfully. Following the prompt of the system, the Red Queen temporarily appeared on his mobile phone. The computer screen changes without needing Shudan to control it. This is a fresh and cute CJDB little lowly. Sure enough, without the weird music and scene atmosphere, the Red Queen is just a cute little girl. Core permissions have been rewritten. The Red Queen looked at Shudan through the computer camera, the only authorized authority, Shudan. Master, hello, the Red Queen is here to serve you wholeheartedly. Shudan nodded in satisfaction, the Red Queen's ability is obvious to all, even managing the entire Antarctic company is not a problem at all. Now shrinking on his computer, it's a bit condescending. Red Empress, choose to conduct a comprehensive inspection of each department of the company. Yes, Master. Following the Red Queen's response, Shudan's computer mainframe roared instantly, it was the roar of the radiator after overclocking, and even accompanied by a burst of burning smell. Shudan hastily said, transfer the host, spare server number. Oh nine. In an instant, the mainframe of the office computer finally stopped, and this mainframe finally saved its life. Two minutes later, the Red Queen's detection was finally over. No problem, Master. Shu Dan hummed lightly, the Angie Company's system was written by him himself, it would be strange if there were loopholes. Red Empress, here is your framework, you can make some basic settings for it, and I am going to put it into the Hardware Technology Development Department as an assistant. I just came up to get an intelligent program to assist the development of the new department. It is a waste of resources to devote the Red Queen to such work now. Therefore, after some basic construction of that framework, it will be placed in the new department as an intelligent assistance program for all employees. In this way, the efficiency of development work can be greatly improved. As for the Red Queen himself, he plans to take it to the Antarctic Biotechnology branch. As soon as he thought of it, he left the Antarctic game building in a straight car. The Biotechnology branch is a new building purchased separately, not in Manhattan Island, but in Brooklyn. After driving to the downstairs of the branch office, the security guard at the door stood up very tactfully. They don't know who is the boss and who is a part-time worker. Every new member recruited must go through systematic training, if you don't know Shudan, then you should leave early. Therefore, there is no such thing as using dog blood on the internet. After entering the branch office, Shudan called softly, the Red Queen. Yes, Master, check here again, yes. After all, the biotechnology branch has a short construction period and is not as complicated as the data in the parent company. So soon, the Red Queen reported, the test is completed, a total of three dangerous experiments are in progress, and nothing else. Dangerous experiment, the danger in Honghu's mouth is absolute danger. She used to be the intelligent detection program of the hive, and she had seen countless experiments. I have even seen things like zombies, let alone modern ones. Give me an immediate termination. Shu Dan ordered immediately. In the laboratory, the researcher who was conducting human experiments with enthusiasm suddenly trembled, because all his equipment suddenly stopped. Even the lights are off. He was taken aback by this sight and hurried out of the laboratory. It just so happened that Shu Dan was heading in this direction following the hint of the Red Queen. Seeing the panicked researcher, without saying a word, he stretched out his hand and turned into an afterimage, strangling his neck. Why panic, do you think I look like a ghost? The young researcher struggled, only then did he see clearly that the person who came was actually a veteran. No, not like it. He felt that this answer was a bit abrupt, and immediately added, boss, good afternoon. Shu Dan let go of his hand angrily, and walked towards his laboratory. What caught the eye turned out to be some unbearable things. What the hell are you doing? The researcher was quite frightened by this question, and hurriedly replied tremblingly, I'm researching the FIMU cup that feels the most real, has the highest intelligence, can automatically heat up, and spray water. Mad, it's a werewolf. It is because of the function of automatic heating that almost killed this young man's second brother. Shu Dan shook his head helplessly, glared at the young man, and then went directly to Banner. At the same time, in a military medical facility in the United States. Emil Bronsky,
covered in pipes and lines, is undergoing a life-saving procedure. While capturing Bruce Banner in Brazil, he was attacked by gonads. Under that blow, if it wasn't for his hard life, he would have burped a long time ago. Later, General Ross's communicator recovered the signal and found him deep in the jungle. Although he survived, his body suffered comminuted fractures. For a soldier, this injury is useless. Although all the bones in his body have been connected with modern advanced medicine, but he can never regain his original flexibility and strength. Emil Bronski was obviously not reconciled, he was a man before, and General Ross also felt that this person was still useful. Moreover, he was also to blame for not explaining clearly to Bronski at the time, and not mentioning the danger of the mission. So he opened the long-sealed super soldier serum and prepared to inject it into Butuski. The reason why Ross captured Banner was actually related to this serum. Listen, this is supposed to hurt. Bronski chuckled, is there still a little bit of the pain he has endured? Come on. As he spoke, he lay down on the instrument, and a medical staff immediately took a syringe and injected it into his spine. Hiss. Ah. There was a castration-like roar in the ward, and the spinal injection almost killed Bronski. The pain is not the pain of breaking a bone. But in the end he endured it. With the super soldier serum entering his body, Bronski's body gradually undergoes amazing changes. The muscles and bones of his original stone began to become more flexible, and the scars left by the surgery all over his body were also recovering rapidly. Most importantly, he can actually feel that his strength is growing rapidly. After a day of adaptation, Rose recalled Bronski to his combat team again. According to the image you describe, Bruce Banner has been running away without any intention of counterattack. General, I've said it many times, the one who attacked me was not Bruce Banner, but someone else. After gaining power, Bronski's mentality changed subtly, and he began to slowly feel uneasy. Respect the general, it's a priest. Haven't checked yet. I've investigated all the priests who have had contact with Bruce Banner, and no one is like that. Then you won't track down the location of Bruce Banner. The main purpose is Banner, not the priest. Bronski took a bite of the orange and whispered, my target is the priest. Now that he has gained power, this is a vengeful man, the priest must be found by him and killed, this is revenge. A look of displeasure appeared on General Ross's old face, and he squinted his eyes and looked at Bronski, actually, I already know about Bruce Banner's location. But we can't move him yet. Why, you have always targeted him, and now you know where he is, but you don't catch him. Young man, this is an order, pay attention to your own identity. Bronski stood up in a hurry, yes, sir. Sit down, your next mission, capture, Mr. Blue. The so-called Mr. Blue is Samuel Stern. He has been abandoned for a long time since Shudan forcibly stepped into the blue-green chat that day. He hasn't got Mr. Green's new blood for a long time, so he can only take out the old blood again. This is not an enthusiastic netizen. While he said he wanted to help Banner eliminate the Hulk in his body, but on the other hand, he concentrated the blood that Banner had mailed to him into serum. He wants to extract medicine from it, so as to make himself famous. But today, he was in trouble. When he was taking out the old samples for research, the elite army had already slowly surrounded him. The leader, of course, is Bronski. Whether it is his speed or strength, he is unprecedentedly expanded. Before he received the order, he directly kicked the door in front of him to pieces and broke into the research room. Samuel Stern, a doctor, is a man of letters. Being forced in by this group of savages, the test tube in his hand fell to the ground in fright. What's in the test tube is a rare serum. Mr. Lan, please raise your hands and turn around. Bronski threatened with a gun. How could Dr. Stern dare to resist? Under the threat of a gun, he dared not resist even if he had the guts. However, when Stern turned around, he didn't feel someone stepping up to handcuff him. The moment he turned around, Bronski suddenly jumped up and stretched out his hands to strangle the soldiers following him to death with his palms. Its movements are quick, its strength is mighty, and its strikes are fierce. He doesn't have the slightest hesitation, it's like a murder planned before. In less than five breaths, he killed all four soldiers following him. What is this? Stern took a look and almost peed in fright. Is this person crazy, killing each other? Unexpectedly, after killing his teammate, 
Bronsky didn't have any psychological burden, but cursed. This is the resentment he has accumulated in his heart for three months. After that, he walked towards Stern. Mr. Lan, well, last night I secretly read the information in Rose's hands, and I also read the chat records between you and Mr. Green. Only then did I realize that there are still such monsters in this world. Weird monster. Stern trembled with fear from Bronsky's eyes. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, it should have been said to be such a powerful force. Quote dot 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 quote. Bronsky didn't wait for Stern to speak, he stretched out his iron hand and locked his throat, stop talking nonsense, I know all your chat records, give me a serum injection right away. Good, good, you, let me go first. Bronsky smiled coldly, and just swaggered down on the experimental bed. Stern is also an honest man, at this moment, if you inject him with a tube of rat poison, wouldn't he burp? He actually took the serum that had already been refined and obediently injected it into Bronsky. I, I'm not sure if this is safe, because no one dares to test it. Shut up. Oh, luckily for Bronsky, he made it. With the injection of the serum, his body slowly expanded, and a power stronger than a super soldier was born. His consciousness is still clear, but his body has also turned into a green monster. Hate, born, looking at his masterpiece, Dr. Stern felt a deep sense of honor, but before he had time to cheer, he was slapped to the ground by the disgust on the experimental bed. His head hit an edge and a hole was broken, and the place where he fell to the ground happened to be the place where the test tube fell before. Brooklyn, Antarctic Biotechnology Branch, a laboratory that only high-level permission can enter. This laboratory covers an area of more than 800 square meters. In the lab, only Banner was busy. He looked like a researcher with obsessive compulsive disorder, and the materials inside were well organized. Hearing the sound of the door opening, he didn't even turn his head, still staring at the equipment in his hand with all his attention. He whispered, Wait a minute, I'm doing a more important experiment here, come slowly. Shu Dan looked around, and there was a helmet next to Banner and what he was doing in his hands should be a relatively delicate job. He walked over quietly and glanced at Banner who was still observing intently. According to his current eyesight, he can see the development process on the helmet now. Much faster than expected, but it will take some time to connect the human nerves. After a long time, Banner finally came back to his senses. He clenched his fists happily, and it seemed that this step had some gains. Mr. Shudan. I didn't expect you to come. Sorry, I was too engrossed just now. Banner apologized for his rudeness, after all, the person in front of him had done him a great favor. However, Shudan didn't care at all, he just shook his head with a light smile and said, it's okay. Afterwards, he glanced around and said, Red Empress, upload all the research and development data of Umbrella Company to the host here. Banner was stunned, the Red Queen. Who is the Red Queen? Is there anyone else here? As soon as he finished speaking, a red figure was projected on the projection screen in the laboratory. In the clean white laboratory, the figure of the Red Queen looked particularly lovely. Oh my god, this is it. Banner looked at Hong Hu in surprise, then at Shu Dan, this is, this is. Artificial intelligence, named Red Queen. Shu Dan explained. Artificial intelligence, Banner muttered pushing his glasses to look at Hong Hu again, still a little surprised in his eyes. A certain artificial intelligence has been rumored on the internet a long time ago, and more than 10 years have passed, and the world has not even seen a fart. Even Banner doubts whether real high-level artificial intelligence exists. Everyone knows the low-level intelligent programs, even on the induction cooker. Artificial intelligence mainly refers to the Red Queen, whose intelligence is similar to that of humans, but stronger than humans in the electronic field. So, is the, Red Queen, that Shu Dan calls the real thing, or is it just a virtual shell with only appearance? Master, the data transmission has been completed. The Red Queen said suddenly. Shu Dan nodded, well, very efficient. What data? Banner asked. Some research data about biological sciences, Red Queen has all been stored in the encrypted computer in this laboratory, I believe it should be helpful to you. Banner pushed his glasses, hesitantly said, well, if it's the research data of those biotech companies, I'm afraid it won't help me. This is not ego, but fact. The business that Banner is researching now can definitely be said to be a cross-age technology. 
With the research data of this year, how can it be possible to help? Xu Dan chuckled and patted Banner on the shoulder, those are not simple data, they are research data that can destroy the world. What? Seeing Banner's horrified expression, Xu Dan smiled, he's still too young. Then, he planned to leave. The purpose of coming here is to inspect the progress of the work, and transfer the knowledge base of the Red Queen to the branch by the way. Now it seems that the production of game helmets is still not in a hurry. Compared with the last time, this time there is not much progress. The great cause of virtual games is the top priority in Shu Dan's mind right now, and he must be supervised. However, just when he was about to leave the laboratory, the phone in his pocket suddenly rang. This is an unfamiliar number. However, ordinary harassing calls simply cannot pass the anti-harassment system he wrote himself. Hello, Shu Dan called out habitually. On the other end of the phone, before there was an answer, there was a series of explosions and shouts. This made Shu Dan even more puzzled. Shu Dan, I need Bruce Banner. Hearing the voice, Shu Dan immediately remembered. Similarly, in the quiet laboratory, Banner also heard the voice of the phone and suddenly became nervous. General Ross, don't forget our agreement, you can't arrest Bruce Banner now. In order for Ross to give up Banner, Shu Dan exchanged some benefits with Ross. Fortunately, Ross is a fool, and he agreed happily before spending a few dollars. Since both parties have reached a consensus, they should abide by the agreement, and those who break the promise will have their throats cut by the wind blade in the middle of the night. It's like this. The tone of General Ross on the phone gradually changed from being tough at the beginning to helpless, and finally, even pleading. Listening to Rose's series of blames, he washed himself clean. As if he was an innocent victim. Shu Dan frowned, and whispered towards the equipment in the laboratory, Queen Red, locate Ross, and then call me the live video. Yes, Master, the intelligence level of the Red Queen, in today's Earth, she claims to be the second, and no one dares to be the first. The same powerful method used by Shu Dan directly occupied an artificial satellite of the United States, and used 99% of its performance to lock Ross's position. Therefore, in less than two seconds, Rose's current location and the bad things happening around him were projected from the projector in the laboratory. On a street, a hideous and ugly monster is massacring. Thick smoke billowed in the streets, but the army that rushed up just died, and was pinched by the monster's slap, and the blood rushed wildly. Screaming, exploding, crying. All over the streets. Shu Dan smiled. If such an accusation is finally carried out on Ross, I am afraid that even if he is a general, he will have to suffer. No wonder he said he was so innocent on the phone, because he was afraid of leaving any trace of evidence. The monsters that appear on the streets are none other than abominations. And the first person that hate wants to kill now is Ross. It was all Ross, an old fox, who tricked him into Brazil to work for him. They didn't even know that the seemingly weak man was actually a monster. However, before seeing the monster, he was severely injured by a priest first. For so many days in the hospital bed, the resentment accumulated in my heart has long been unable to get rid of. What the hell is that? Banner pushed his glasses and stared at the image on the virtual screen. He only knew that he was a perverted monster. Didn't he think that there are monsters like him in this world? Shu Dan explained, this is what you trusted Mr. Lan before. He refined the blood you sent him into serum and injected it into the soldier who chased you that day. Hearing this, Banner was shocked and shook his head constantly, unable to believe it was true. But that's the way it is, Shu Dan didn't tell half a lie. Banner's grief doesn't just lie in his betrayal, but also in his hatred for his ability. That newly forgiving monster must be because of his serum after all. Banner, how about it, why don't you go and kill that monster yourself? I'm still on the medication period. Then I have no choice but to clean up the mess for you. Shu Dan patted Banna on the shoulder and said. Last time the Iron Overlord was shot by him too. As long as these talented workers are willing to work hard, he, the boss, is very willing to take care of the remaining troubles for them. No, you can't be his opponent. I have also become a monster. I know that kind of power. Facing Banner's worry, Shu Dan waved his hands indifferently, continue to experiment, don't worry about other things. After saying this, he walked out of the laboratory door and quickly went downstairs. Along the way, 
the Red Queen drove the car, and he opened the system point mall, preparing for a wave of strength strengthening before the battle. Although I usually spend my time on work and don't have the time to practice, it's okay to sharpen my sword in front of the battle. The first is to look at the point balance in the background. With the launch of several prestige games, Shudan is no longer short of points, unless he has to buy those expensive items all the time. For the consumption of ordinary people, tens of millions of points are relatively normal. Balance has just bought red, and some players have sent in some, and now it is 150 million. If you want to buy skills, you can still buy a lot. Skill Column, Flame Storm, 5,560,000 points. Static Trap, 6,550,000 points. Devil Haunted, 7,350,000 points. These skills flashed in Shu Dan's eyes. Although the names of each skill looked very aggressive, unfortunately, all of them needed skill guidance. In a real battle, if you don't feel that your strength is suppressed, and the victory or defeat is in an instant, who will give you time and space to guide your skills? Living people are not characters in the game. After looking at it, he finally turned to a few pages upside down. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. Sword Master Legacy, 120 million points. The reason why I noticed this top grade is because of its price. In the last few pages, the price of most of the items has risen to the billion level. But this product only has 120 million points. The string of digits has one bit less than the others, which is easy to detect. He was a little more empty, and the introduction of the product appeared in front of his eyes. Sword Master Inheritance The user will inherit the power of the Warcraft Sword Master. Note, since the host has acquired all the skills of the Juggernaut, this item is sold at a 10% discount. Looking at the system introduction, a smile appeared on Shu Dan's face. I have always heard that other protagonists have been miserably cheated by the system, and now our family is very conscientious. By Juggernaut Legacy Backquote. Beep. Purchased successfully. Following the system's prompt, Shudan only felt some pain in his head, followed by some strange and heavy information flow. These are the Juggernaut's experience, combat experience, life skills. The twists and turns of life are shown in Shudan's mind like a movie. After comprehending things, those things disappeared without a trace, leaving only power in the end. But the strength that best matches the skills of the juggernaut. Although there is no strengthening of his body, just relying on this higher level comprehension of skills can increase his strength by half. A small soldier often said that his combat power had doubled, but no one would care. But for an existence like Shu Dan, who dares to say that his combat power has been increased by half, is no joke. If it was said that the previous sword strike could cut the Iron Tyrant's arm with a 10 centimeter sword mark, then now, as long as he uses all his strength to slash, he can definitely cut off the Iron Tyrant's arm with one sword. What a terrifying growth rate. Shu Dan was amazed by himself. Choosing to buy this is really a wise decision. After spending 120 million points, he still has 30 million points left. Although the comprehension of sword skills in my heart has improved several levels now, I still have a handy weapon in my hand. Considering the head-on confrontation with the abomination, ordinary weapons really can't do anything to it. The source of that guy's strength is Banner's blood, and his body stats are almost equal to those of the Green Titan. The toughness of the skin and the healing speed of the body are quite terrifying. Therefore, a sharper weapon than the sword from last time is needed. Weapon Column Evil Gladiator's Saber, 4,500,000 points. Western Wind, Asgardian Sword, 5 million points. Hellscream Sword of Destruction, 26 million points. Shu Dan's line of sight, gliding across the blue weapon, finally landed on this epic weapon. This is a weapon classification of around level 90, and the stats of this weapon are considered pretty good. At the same time fancy, and its appearance. A person who specializes in using swords is very picky about a sword. Although this weapon has a sword in its name, it actually looks like a good jow knife or it would be more appropriate to use, blade, to describe it. Its whole body is full of thick flame hues, just like its name, like the blade of Hellscream. Using such a domineering weapon to deal with hatred, I don't know how effective it will be. Buy Hellscream's Sword of Destruction. Beep. Purchased successfully. As soon as Shu Dan stretched out his hand, the so-called, sword, 
appeared in his hand. In addition to looking sharp, it also feels a little hot to the touch. It's as if it's made of magma. Nice weapon. Hope this time it can hold up. As we all know, hacking and killing Marvel super villains has always required a considerable amount of manpower and material resources. In order to kill Obadiah last time, he directly bought a cheaper sword in the points mall. After using it, even if it is scrapped, there is nothing to feel bad about. But this time, this is a valuable item rounded up to nearly 30 million, and it cannot be in the hands of the abomination. At the speed driven by the red offspring, Shudan wanted to play a song, Catch Shrimp, for her. After he got used to the new weapon in his hand, the destination has been reached. As soon as I walked in, I could smell the burning smell of tires. Madeline, sorry. When he came back to his senses, he could see the scene of hatred wreaking havoc on the streets from afar. The army on the ground has been completely beaten to the ground, and now there are only a few armed helicopters in the air firing warnings. Although those bullets can hurt and hate, they can't cause any substantial damage. Shu Dan silently took out his mobile phone and dialed Ross's number. Hey, I've taken over, let your people withdraw. Is Bruce Banner here? No, hey, Yong Shu Bai. General Ross's face was flushed, looking at the, Bronsky, who was showing his mic to him below, his teeth were itching with hatred. He's a general, and what a Jonsky is that jerk. Turn yourself into a monster and think you are invincible. Well, the troops will withdraw first to reduce losses. Shu Dan watched the fire gradually stop, and the hatred on the street finally became a little quieter. After Bronsky turned to hate this ugly monster, he still maintained human sanity and did not go crazy like Hulk. But every gain is bound to be a loss. Although Bronsky has maintained his human sanity, he will never return to his human form. From now on, whether he wants to or not, he will live with this skin on his back. Definitely, the premise is to survive. Shu Dan's butcher's knife is ready for him. He directly launched the wind walk, entered the invisible state, and then accelerated and quickly approached the abomination. At this moment, the hatred's attention was still in the sky, and he didn't even realize that a terrifying murderous intent was approaching him. At the moment when the stealth state was about to end, Shu Dan immediately swung the blade in his hand. I don't know if it's because the blade is sharp, or because I'm tired from beating the abomination for a long time, but when the blade goes down, it cuts the abomination's big moon back so neatly to separate a wound. What? Deu retreated in pain, disgusted and noticed the human appearing out of nowhere in front of him, this human is really daring, dare to attack him at such a close distance. The mind of abomination is clear, not the same as the relationship between the green titan hulk and banner. The abomination is Bronsky, the two are one, there is no difference. This state is just that Bronsky has become like this. During the months when he was ill, even in the medical center of the military region, he could often hear Shu Dan's name. Definitely, he can also find out who this so-called Shu Dan is through channels. The guy who stood in front of him and heard him. Hate that ugly face gradually distorted. No matter what game developer he is, what achievements he has, if he dares to hurt him in front of him now, he will die. With a loud roar, the hatred stretched out its big hand and grabbed Shu Dan. Once caught by this big hand, then Shu Dan's fate can be imagined. However, Shu Dan's reaction speed is far beyond comparison. The moment that big hand waved over, he immediately activated the mirror image duplication. The mirror image duplication was crushed into pieces by the abomination, and at the same time as being tricked, Yu Tui Shang received another sword strike. When dealing with enemies, Shu Dan has always been merciless. It's just that the loathsome body is too strong. This new wound has just emerged, and the previous wound has almost healed. This abnormal restoration of ability is really tricky. Die to me, hate roared again, he is huge but not clumsy at all, he is waving his fist to cover Shu Dan's head. I'm afraid Shu Dan's body will be crushed into a lump if he is dropped by a person of this size. The inheritance of the juggernaut endowed him with a strong sense of fighting CJBE. In the continent of Azeroth, the juggernaut has to fight not only the human form, but also many monsters. The abomination he is dealing with now is just a little bigger. Shu Dan almost closed his eyes to avoid this blow. His rich combat experience allowed him to handle the crisis with ease. 
Abomination was taken aback by Shu Dan's increasingly weird movements, and he chose to retreat decisively. His brute force, in front of that rich combat experience, seems worthless. Because every time he gathered his strength to make a move, he firmly believed that this blow could kill even an elephant, let alone a mere human. But every attack was in vain, which made him feel as if his anger was pouring into the cotton. Don't run away if you have the ability. The disgusted and shameless roared. However, Shu Dan would never fall for such a low-level aggressive method. Even in his opinion, the hatred is a bit embarrassing. He who was invincible on the streets just now is finally suffering. Thinking this way, another sword was offered. Since he cut on the flesh of the abomination, no matter what kind of wound, he will recover quickly, so this time he cut directly to the bone hard. As we all know, the calf is the most obvious place for bones, the entire front of the calf, under the thin layer of skin, is full of bones. The destruction sword of Hellscream in his hand is also worthy of its price, it is really sharp and scorching hot. The green skin, which can't even be pierced by bullets, has no room for resistance under his blade, it's as easy as cutting tofu. Moreover, every attack left a painful scar like a flame on his body. Hate endured. Crack. This is the sound of bones breaking. Before this, who would have thought that such a rough and terrifying existence of hatred would be possible to be bullied like this by others? That doesn't exist at all, right? It can tear apart cars with bare hands, and it can treat human soldiers like dolls, one in each hand. Even when the bullet hits it, there are only white spots, and the bullet head is like a cigarette butt that can fly far away. However, in front of Shudan, all of this seemed to be completely non-existent. He completely subverted people's cognition. It turns out that there is no need for guns and cannons, and humans can stand in front of that monster independently and fight against it alone. Especially the weapon in his hand. General Ross on the plane was staring at him, and he had a new goal, not only to create super soldiers, but he also wanted to create that kind of super weapon. Just as he was thinking about how to trap Shu Dan and get his weapon, a black shadow yelled at them to approach quickly. That's none other, that's the abomination. This was the opportunity the abomination had been looking for for a long time. He has the flying jumping ability, jumping from the ground to the height of the helicopter is just a basic operation. Moreover, this kind of jump is still done with one leg. His left leg has been crushed to the bone. With that extraordinary recovery ability, he still needs some time to recover. Coincidentally, Ross, that fool, suddenly lowered the height of flight, and the abomination took the opportunity to jump up. This also happens to be able to distance yourself from Shu Dan temporarily. General Ross looked at the big green hand pinning the helicopter door in horror, now, it's too late to say anything. They are just ordinary humans, how can they take hatred? Shoot the big hand so that it hurts and let's go. That is impossible, not even the big caliber of the gunships can be rewarded, the pistols and automatic rifles they are equipped with are just like tickling. General, Skydive, a loyal soldier, in this crisis, came up with a, good way. He quickly buckled the survival backpack on Rose, and, Abomination only found something falling from the helicopter hatch on the other side, so he subconsciously went to catch it. What an interesting scene, Shu Dan on the ground almost laughed out loud. Remember that in Avengers. Age of Ultron, Hulk caught the parachuting soldier with his bare hands, and now the abomination has caught Rose by such a coincidence. After turning into an abomination, the first person Bronski killed was Ross. And now, it just so happened that Rose fell into his army. Fact: 10,000 muddy horses galloped past Rose's heart, how could he believe the nonsense of his soldiers? Why do you want to skydive? Can't you live well? I really want to shoot that fool. Bronski, there is a good deal. There is a good business district. Bronski who turned into abomination is no longer Bronski. There was a sneer on his ugly face, he stared at Ross and said, what can I discuss with you? General Ross. You. Ross was shocked by the consciousness of hatred. He had witnessed the process of Banner transforming into a Hulk, and would eventually lose his mind and become violent, but this Bronski could stay awake. From the perspective of a mortal, I have to say that Ross still has two talents to become a general. The power of observation in a critical moment alone is not something that ordinary people can do. Are you surprised, General, I can become like this today, and I have to thank you very much, General. 
Smiling evilly, he let go of the hand holding the helicopter door, grabbed Ross and jumped to the ground. Boom, that terrifying body shape vibrated so that the surrounding area was filled with smoke and dust, and a large circular pit was smashed out under his feet. General, you see that I am full of strength now. I won't be afraid of your life-threatening mission anymore. Do you want to send me another mission? This time I promise to complete it. Hate laughed. But everyone knows that Rose in the hands of hatred is already in a desperate situation. If nothing miraculous, by the way, Shu Dan. Rose had an idea in his desperation and instantly thought of Shu Dan. His performance was so powerful just now, it should be able to save him. Shu Dan, Shu Dan, help me, Shu Dan, help me, I will give you benefits, I will give you whatever you need. This sound like a dog barking made Shu Dan laugh. Sure enough, it doesn't matter how noble a person's status is, when death is imminent, he will be a fool. I beg grandpa to tell grandma. Holding the sword of destruction glowing slightly in his hand, Shu Dan slowly walked towards abomination. General Ross, you have to hold on. Hearing the sound, Ross looked expectantly in the direction of Shu Dan, however, that was the last sight he saw in his life. As Shu Dan charged forward, Hate got nervous and accidentally pinched Ross to death. The tragedy is unbearable. There is only one word to describe the person who was crushed to death vigorously, and that is, miserable. Unlike other ways of dying, the entire face of the crushed person was swollen, and the most terrifying thing was the pair of eyes, the eyeballs almost popped out. In desperation, he threw the rose in his hand towards Shu Dan. I hope Shu Dan can see some flaws for the sake of the body. However, Shu Dan compelled Sanju Ice calmly, and walked past him. Screw's body fell to the ground with blood, and finally fell into the pile of scrapped cars. On the helicopter, the soldier just now was still in a daze. He is loyal by nature. He really really just wanted General Ross to run away. But often doing things with good intentions, Ross was caught by the abomination by such a coincidence. If this incident becomes a military incident, I'm afraid. How could the fate of the little soldier be like this? When he returned to God and looked towards the ground, he saw that Rose's body had bounced twice on the ground like a dead dog, and fell into the waste pile. General, General, on this day, so many things happened. First, a monster appeared out of nowhere. Another riot in the streets. Zero. Ross dies again. The accident is too fast, and the young heart can't react. What should I do now? The little soldier sat back to where Rose was before with a pale face. On the ground, Shu Dan has entered a melee with the Abomination. The predecessor of the Abomination was a Croatian agent, a veteran in his forties, with a lot of combat experience. After fighting against Shu Dan for many times, he gradually figured out the way, and even slowly defended himself. He no longer suffers from Shu Dan's attack in vain, the two fight back and forth. However, his physical strength is almost unlimited, and he also has a very strong self-recovery ability, he can consume Shu Dan to death no matter how he consumes it. Definitely, Shu Dan understands this too. What kind of abomination is he probably knows better than Bronsky. Therefore, after a long and fruitless battle, he began to think of other ways. In his memory, Hulk fought against the abomination, but he was also unable to kill the abomination, and finally relied on brute force to knock the abomination unconscious. Now he is also thinking about how to knock out this dogecoin. Hash J. Dizziness. His ling tie was clear for a while, and instantly turned off the way to defeat the abomination. For such a long time, after accumulating a certain amount of points, he often enters the point mall to buy a batch of skills to strengthen himself. In addition to Juggernaut's skills, and some passive abilities. Definitely also has other magic skills, control skills. Chapter 91. Hate deeply understands what it means to be accused to death. In the end, under the blade storm blessed by the new weapon, it broke into eight pieces. After defeating the hatred, Shu Dan couldn't be happy for a long time. Because his original intention of coming to deal with the trouble of hatred was not for the joy of victory, or the praise of the people. He was just thinking about Banner, and wanted to let Banner work with peace of mind, without being harassed by General Ross anymore. But now, General Ross has gone to see God, and the hatred is gone. From another point of view, isn't he just busying himself in vain? Got nothing and was sweating profusely. Quietly back in the car, he said, 
Red Empress, deal with all the videos that captured me just now, I don't want to be annoyed. Yes, master, the Red Queen responded obediently. Then back, the next day, file size media exploded. The turmoil that broke out in the streets yesterday has attracted widespread attention. Originally, if General Ross was still alive, he would definitely ask someone to suppress the fishing boat for a while. However, he was crushed to death by the hatred, and there was no one to clean up the mess for him. Moreover, the victimization situation was very serious that day. In the original book, Banner was originally at the scene, and quickly ran down to save the scene. But this time it was General Ross who saw that the firepower could not suppress the hatred, so he called Shu Dan. The delay in the middle is enough to hate tearing down a street with bare hands. If you want to suppress the fishing boat, first of all, the family members of the victims do not agree. Because the Red Queen processed all the videos on the spot, street cameras, private shooting equipment in the building, military cameras, etc. So what people saw was just a black shadow fighting that unforgiving monster. In a country that worships individual heroes, soon, this black shadow will be turned into some kind of hero again. After officially reporting the scene, the rest of the media began to discuss around this mysterious superhero. Poor Rose was not remembered by many people after his death. And at the moment, Shu Dan was still playing with his little pet in his office. The Frost Wolf Ghost Cub has grown up a little these days, but only, a little. If it was an ordinary pet, with his daily food and drink feeding, I'm afraid it would have grown into a pig long ago. But now, Ghost Cub's body length has only increased by an inch. After dismembering Abomination yesterday, he secretly took a piece of Abomination's flesh. Feeding the loathsome meat to the little wolf is a true response to the phrase, chop it up and feed it to the dog. But after eating the disgusting meat, the body of Ghost Cub grew up at a speed visible to the naked eye. The muscles all over his body swelled, and it grew from a cub to an adult dog in just a few seconds. Ah, the little wolf suddenly raised its head and howled, and then its body quickly compressed again, turning back into a cub again. Shu Dan was puzzled. Immediately through the system, he found the little wolf's attribute panel. I saw that in the panel introduction, the coyotes actually had an extra skill, to enter a huge berserk state, increasing all attributes by 50%, which lasted for 30 minutes. Looking at this piece of data, Shudan couldn't help being taken aback. He just casually fed Ghost Little Wolf a bite of meat, but unexpectedly activated the hidden skill, unexpected surprise. Little guy, keep a dog for a thousand days, use a dog for a while, if there is any trouble next time, it's your turn to play. Ah, putting down the ghost coyotes in his hands, Shudan reached out to pick up the documents on the desk. As a boss, he is actually very busy, and he is not as leisurely as he appears in TV dramas. In addition to going back and forth to the new department every day, I also have to review various submitted documents. Today's files are extraordinarily thick and are stored together in a blue folder. Shudan opened the file, and just looking at the title, his brows frowned. Because it has the name of the famous feng shui company written on it. Before the rise of Antarctic Company, Feng Shui Company could definitely be said to be the leader in the entire game market. The second is some specialized companies in Japan. But now, these companies have all been squeezed out. The Antarctic Company dominates. He opened the title page of the document and looked at a series of statistics. The entire document does not draw a conclusion, but judging from the data, any fool can see that Feng Shui, in conjunction with some famous companies in the island country, is jointly dealing with Antarctica. In fact, Shu Dan thought about this problem a long time ago. If Antarctica becomes bigger and stronger, it will inevitably offend other companies. After all, business competition is no less than a war, and the loser will end up going bankrupt. However, the development of Antarctic Company is necessary, and it is only a matter of time before becoming the number one in the world. What if you are offended? As long as you have the ability, you can call back with your works. It's a pity that Feng Shui Company and some famous companies in the island country did not do this. After they failed to imitate the Antarctic game, they took the initiative to organize people to enter the Antarctic Company's game and forcibly destroy the game environment. It's kind of stupid to do this. You can't compare yourself, why don't you let others play? Flipping through the documents, 
Xu Dan's brows gradually became gloomy, each real data clearly wrote those virtual ids and the companies behind them. By the way, I opened the game forum and turned a few pages back. Sure enough, there were many players posting and cursing. Suddenly, he had an idea. Since these people want to cause trouble, then, let's bring everything to the table and be fair and above board. He quickly took these documents excerpts, and then uploaded them anonymously to the internet. Regarding the identities of those players, he still carefully typed the codes, so as not to be said to maliciously expose private information on the internet. However, since fools can see from these data that Feng Shui Company is taking the lead in deliberately defaming Angie Company's games, then how can these smart game fans not see it? Moreover, as long as the file is made into a video and accompanied by a piece of music, it can become a clarion call for battle and quickly arouse the player's sense of justice in their hearts. The player base is too large, and they will follow the trend and follow the trend. As long as one person proposes some kind of jihad, then others will follow and join the battle. And the main purpose of this battle is to protect their beloved game world. Drive those profit-seeking maggots out of the pure land of the game world. Shu Dan chuckled, built a trumpet casually, and set a slightly higher forum speech level. Flying fingers across the keyboard, a rhythmic post was made quickly. Sure enough, some hot-blooded replies appeared below, because they shouted to kill the boss of Feng Shui Company. I don't know if it was hacked or not, I only know that it will be in the next month. The feng shui company's economy has been declining all the way, let alone promoting new games, they can't even sell the original casual games. What's around, and the supply expansion is piled up in the warehouse, which is almost moldy. It can be said that in the game industry, feng shui company has lost its way. Nobody plays their game because of their corrupt character. Tom, the chief technical officer that day, resigned without saying a word, resolutely rejected everyone's persuasion, and drove straight to Angie Company. It's time to eat. The United States guy is very realistic, knowledgeable and broad-minded, he doesn't care about his former business rivals. Tom applied for an interview, but the first time he didn't even pass the downstairs security. The second time, I was still stopped by security. The third time, Shu Dan saw his sincerity and gave him a job as a cleaner. Someone under his command proposed to acquire an annex feng shui company, but Xu Dan did not make a decision, but handed over the matter to Leva. After this, Ghost Food Diet came into being, Xu Dan really had no choice but to promote her, hoping that the heavy work would take up more of her time. Now, she is the general manager of Antarctic Company. But Mai Shiranui became the new secretary. Dan has no sense of pride in defeating feng shui company with just two posts. Because in the game industry, he is invincible, no matter who he defeats, that is definitely a matter of course. After successfully defeating Feng Shui Company and completing his revenge, he pointed his finger at those clubs in the island country. There are many game clubs in the island country. The scale of their work at the beginning is actually the same as that of the Antarctic studio back then. They were all formed by a few people. As long as any popular game is developed, the studio will become famous, otherwise, it will become an inconspicuous member of the crowd. Shu Dan felt sorry for these workaholics, because they were exhausted from work every day, and they had to worry about whether their wives would be able to NTR when they got home, and they offended Antarctic Company. Ryuji Yamano is a member of a certain company. He can be regarded as the mainstay of the company, with the attention of the boss and the admiration of the juniors, it can be said that his life is relatively complete. In the island country, it is common to work overtime, and as a game designer, he spends more time off work than others. There is a convenience store downstairs from the company. He habitually bought a can of beer and drank it while walking. On the tram, he saw an idiot with his own eyes, and then decisively called the police. Because he is a man with a sense of justice, even when he was favored by a beautiful woman, Asking him for contact information and planning to thank him in the future, he smiled slightly and said that he already had a family. The upright Long Ur returned home, and the young and beautiful wife Yamano Goka was kneeling and sitting in front of the entrance, dressed in kimono, smiling at him, Welcome back, my husband. Ah, Aunt Ta, Long Ur's heart warmed, no matter when he came back, his wife would always greet him at the entrance. I'll get you hot food, husband. Well, let's go. Longer smiled happily, 
then sat down in front of the kotatsu and turned on the TV casually. It was late at night, and there were no good-looking programs on the TV. I've been calling and calling, but I haven't found anything satisfactory. Just then, my wife came over with the food. A bowl of white rice porridge, a bowl of white tofu soup, a plate of king oyster mushrooms, and a plate of leftover donkey babies. Long Er, who had been working crazily all day long, had no time for his brain, and his hungry stomach took control of the initiative, and he swallowed whole. Hick, Long Er burped, he had wiped out all the food on the table. The stomach is very satisfied, but there is a fishy smell in the aftertaste. Woo wah, which dish is broken? Impossible, it's winter, the dishes fried in the morning can't be bad. Oh, suddenly, Long Er was stunned, his wife was at home alone, why did he still eat the donkey baby? Just when he was puzzled, the game console next to him suddenly rang. He is an employee of a certain company, but in private, he likes to play games of Antarctic Corporation. For no other reason than to have fun. And there are more beauties. The one on his game console is that very classic fighting game. Although this game has passed, for a long time, he still loves it. Especially some of the female characters in it. Wait, why do game consoles get hacked one day? Long Er was stunned. Because he never saves those garbage videos on his precious game console, the game console is used to play sacred games, how can he use it to watch movies like some muggles? But now, there is an extra video on his desktop. The icon of the video actually resembles his wife's face. Nowhere to open. Ah, Wuhuajong, who is more comfortable, me or your husband? Pop. Definitely Oh He Song is even stronger, Long Er is too young. Do you love your husband? I definitely love it. My husband loves me so much. You're so nasty, Wuhuajong. Stop shooting. Ojasan, hurry up. Ah. Ah. I accidentally fell into the rice cooker. Well, it doesn't matter. This is a video in the kitchen. After the video is over, there is another video on the balcony, living room, and above the kotatsu. Long Ru's face turned green. Because the person in the video turned out to be the company team leader who asked for leave today. He worked hard overtime in the company, and he even took the job of the team leader to complete it. That old thing is good, he actually ran to his house to comfort his wife for him. Shanai Wuhua on the side obviously also heard the voice. The whole person suddenly became ill. When she was being photographed, she resisted, but being photographed felt strangely exciting, so she didn't stop it. But I have played with Ohi Song so many times, he is a steady person, how could he pass it to Longko? Could it be that Ojasan doesn't want to continue playing? Long Er threw the game console to the ground, and stared at his wife Wuhua with cold eyes, you took my money, lived in my room, and gave me other men's stinky rice and green nights. Quote. Well, you are also Shigang yourself. Watching the video. Sure enough, the islanders still have their own ways of perverting. Long Er his cheating wife for the last time, and then walked to the team leader's house in the dark with a knife in his hand. It was bound to be a sleepless night. On the same day, members of many game companies turned against each other due to various reasons, Shui gradually turned red. In the office, Shu Dan took advantage of his lunchtime to leisurely watch the latest news. News from our station. Dozens of serial murders have occurred in the island country recently. The murderers have been arrested, but they are not accomplices. The specific reason is still under investigation. Shu Dan took a sip of tea happily, this feeling is really not too comfortable. He didn't say he was going to kill himself. Just to disclose some things in their lives, the islanders who live in hypocrisy and oppression all day long did that. Shu Dan didn't expect either. Dan, why do you suddenly care about the news? Reva asked. 437, she was already full and planned to go out to throw away the lunch box. And under Shu Dan's desk, my Shiranui was still working. My, it's almost ready, come on. You haven't eaten yet, Shu Dan motioned to my Shiranui while eating. Although this effect is not good, but it saves time. The company stipulates that there is only a two-hour break at noon, and now Liwa has taken away one and a half hours, and my Shiranui is not satisfied with the rest of the time. Hearing Shu Dan's persuasion, my Shiranui got angry. Shu Dan felt that he was about to lose my Shiranui. But just when he was about to open the gate, a knock on the door came in. Tuck tuck tuck, come in, throw out the trash and knock on the door. 
Crack. The door opened. Sky looked cautious, but seeing Shu Dan's posture, he was stupefied again. Shu Dan thought it was Riva who came back, so he didn't pay attention, but unexpectedly it was Sky who came in. He was so frightened that he immediately shivered and sat up straight in an instant. Well, and my Shiranui under the table was at a loss for what to do, so she had to swallow them all. Ah, boss, I, Sky has good eyesight, otherwise he wouldn't be a top hacker. She naturally saw the situation just now, the state of Shudan, she can guess what happened. This is the most embarrassing. Crashed the boss's job. Sky, what's the matter with you? Oh, I'm here to give a work report. The Island Country Game Company listed last time is ready to be acquired now. Here are a few plans I made. Skato said while holding the documents in his hand. In this regard, Shudan pressed my Shiranui's head, indicating that she should not be afraid and continue. Then, he said to Sky, take it here. Sky walked over tremblingly. Seeing Sky standing in front of the desk in fear, Shudan deliberately pushed the chair and stepped back a little. This angle just allowed her to see something. Sky felt like he couldn't take it anymore. So soft. Oh, that's right. Shudan finally spoke, but he just pointed to a place in the document and said, it makes you tired of standing, come and have a look, what does this place mean? Past, Sky was taken aback, who doesn't know what's going on behind your desk? If she just walked over like this, wouldn't it be broken on the spot? Or does the boss have other plans? What's the matter, come here. Following Shu Dan's urging again, Sky's body moved involuntarily, and just walked around the desk and walked towards Shu Dan. Exclamation mark, Sky feels finished. Just looking at this scene now, she was completely stunned. It's not that I haven't read some related materials before, but today it's different. This is Shu Dan, her lifelong male god playing the leading role. Why are you standing there? Come here, Shu Dan urged again. Past, Sky was taken aback. Who doesn't know what's going on behind your desk? If she just walked over like this, wouldn't it be broken on the spot? Does it mean that the boss has other plans? What's the matter? Come here. Following Shu Dan's urging again, Sky's body moved involuntarily, and he just walked around the desk and walked towards Shu Dan. It's over. Sky feels finished. Just looking at this scene now, she was completely stunned. It's not that I haven't read some related materials before, but today it's different. This is Shu Dan, her lifelong male god is playing the leading role. Why are you standing there? Come here, Shu Dan urged again. This is Shu Dan her lifelong male god playing the leading role. Why are you standing there? Come here, Shu Dan urged again. It's not that I haven't read some related materials before, but today it's different. This is Shu Dan, her lifelong male god playing the leading role. Why are you standing there? Come here, Shu Dan urged again. This is Shu Dan, her lifelong male god playing the leading role. Why are you standing there? Come here, Shu Dan urged again. Hearing Shu Dan's urging, although Sky blushed with shame, he still exerted his strength and walked towards Shu Dan. But just after taking two steps, he found that his heel was weak, and he fell directly beside Shu Dan, with his hands just on Shu Dan's body. Seeing this, Shu Dan naturally had some polite thoughts. He pressed Sky directly on the desk. After a long time, the battle in the office finally gradually subsided. Okay, Wu, you go to work first. Let Sky fall asleep and rest first, I don't know it's the first time for her, she is too hard. It was past 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Fortunately, both of them had relatively high positions, otherwise they would have to be held accountable by their superiors when they returned home. The company is playing and playing, and you can't make fun of the rules and regulations. Putting the exhausted Sky on the sofa, Shudan returned to the desk, picked up the document and read it. It's okay to buy those game companies in the island country. It happens that there are many dead houses in the island country, so it is not impossible to develop some 18x culture. But those are relatively small things. Through this series of events, Shudan suddenly discovered a problem. That is, in the development process of the company, it is inevitable that we will encounter such and such problems. It's better to get it resolved sooner rather than later. For example, the company currently run by Washa Shalma has frequent contacts with Shalma. It is not difficult to predict his future, and his company will definitely become bigger and stronger. 
If there is no Antarctic company, he may even become the world's number one game company. That's potential. The pony in this universe is equally awesome. Now that the pony's future glory has been predicted, Shudan wants to do something now. He took out his personal mobile phone and dialed a number in the address book. Soon, a respectful voice came over. Hello, Mr. Shu. Xiao Ma has cooperated several times, and the two seem to be quite familiar with each other. There was no need for the politeness, Xu Dan said directly. Xiao Ma, if you have time, you can fly there, I will discuss another cooperation with you. As soon as he heard the cooperation, Xiao Ma's eyes straightened. Game companies all over the world are rushing to cooperate with Antarctic Corporation. There are only a few other idiots who think that they can defeat Antarctica by joining forces, it's a fool's dream. Companies that cannot recognize the facts in front of them deserve to be eliminated. I don't even understand the temper of the boss in Antarctica, foreigners are really simple. Xiao Ma is very proud of the fact that he cooperated with Xu Dan with full sincerity. This caused the Antarctic company to become a big hit, and at the same time, their Zuntang Technology Company, Limited also drank some soup. Among the domestic agents, which one is not envious of Zuntang? He dealt with the affairs in hand as soon as possible, and finally finished the week's work three days ahead of schedule and then boarded the plane with new hopes. Xu Dan personally went to the airport to pick up Xiao Ma, and the two drove directly to the most famous restaurant in New York. The food here is unpalatable and expensive for just one brand and service. In the VIP room, after Xu Dan ordered the drinks, he went straight to the point. Little Ma, I want a 30% stake in Zuntang at full price. This, Xiao Ma hesitated, because this is not something he can do by sitting here alone. There are countless companies in the world, and few companies can be as dictatorial as Antarctic Company. His words are imperial decrees, but he has never made a mistake. This is one of the great miracles of the world today, there will be no second Xu Dan. Seeing Xiao Ma's difficulties, Xu Dan squinted his eyes and smiled slightly, and said, although your company has some savings in China, you are stuck with funds, right? Now I have a new game and I want to give it to you. You act as an agent, I'm afraid you don't even have a server, so you can't eat any more. After meeting Xiao Ma, Xu Dan quickly checked the current situation of Xiao Ma Company, and quickly analyzed Zuntang's current strengths and weaknesses. Zuntang has made a fortune by acting as an agent of Antarctic Company's games. In the end, they used this money to develop the company's scale, which led to the company's scale now, the capital chain is broken. Now their company is urgently attracting investment. I, call you over, I'm definitely prepared. Xu Dan chuckled, opened a bottle of rare white wine, and filled a glass for Pony, it's not difficult to decide, you find other venture capitalists, they will only want more than me, and by then, it will not be your turn. Isn't it? The Pony drank it all in one gulp, smacked his lips heavily, nodded and said, yes. After thinking about it this way, Xiao Ma figured it out in an instant. They are indeed in trouble now, without financial support, it means that this newly developed company is facing an embarrassing situation. And when they go to any venture capitalist, let alone how much they give, they don't even say whether they agree or not. Now, just such a person with huge wealth sitting in front of him, like a kind old father, asked him if he was short of money. He is still hesitation, should have slapped myself. Xiao Ma felt ashamed, and quickly punished himself with three cups, Mr. Xu, thank you. Don't mention thank you, I asked for the equity, and naturally I will give Zuntang benefits. Aren't you short of money to buy servers now? I will lend you a new set of servers. A new type of server. Xiao Ma was taken aback for a moment. He knew many types of servers. Which one does this new type represent? However, what Xu Dan is talking about is not any one on the market, but a server that was recently developed by the hardware technology development department of his Antarctic company. 45% better performance than the server purchased by Stark Industries. It's a miracle machine. Unique in this era, taking Xiaoma back for a visit, looking at the extremely magnificent Antarctic game building, Xiaoma's eyes are full of yearning. He deeply realized the gap between him and Xu Dan, and took it as the goal of his life. Going through the procedure is a very long process, during which Xu Dan does not need to sign a contract in person. In the end, Zuntang's 30% stake was obtained. His move is considered the biggest sum in Zuntang.
Even Xiao Ma himself is only 10%. It also means that Xu Dan is fine if he doesn't speak, and Zunteng has to listen to him if he gives orders. After finishing this matter, Xu Dan walked towards the private jet while being sent off by Xiao Ma. By the way, have you noticed an English teacher named Ma Yun recently? He founded a company named Alibaba. If he needs investment, you ask him to come to me. Xiao Ma thought for a while. He also has the surname Ma, so if he can help, he will help. Is that Ali already gone? Well, no problem. Xu Dan waved his hand with a smile, beckoning the pony to stop, and then slowly boarded the plane. In the future world, the English teacher will bring too many changes. Although this company has nothing to do with games, he just wants to get involved. There is no way, I have accumulated too much money in my hand, I just like investing. They'll end up going to VCs anyway. Xu Dan simply took this risk-free venture capitalist. After acquiring Feng Shui Company and some game companies in Daobuo, Angie Company invested heavily in Zunteng and Ali GC. Among these two future leading companies in China, Xu Dan alone owns 30% of Zunteng shares, and Alisi has reached a terrifying 51%. After spending such a huge amount, the Antarctic Company had to temporarily enter a buffer state. In the final analysis, the Antarctic Game Company is his main body, and it cannot affect the operation of the main body for other reasons. The last time he promised Xiao Ma a new game agency, this game has already been put on the agenda. Xiao Ma is a Chinese game dealer, and Wajin is a nation with a long history and culture. Unlike the guys from the United States who are tough and simple, as long as they play well and the plot is good, they don't have much cultural pursuit in playing games. Not to mention others, even Xu Dan himself had a dream of being a knight when he was young. I have been making games for so long, but I have never made an ancient game, not because of the difficulty, but because of the audience. The previous Antarctic company was eager to develop, so Xu Dan chose some games that are acceptable to all people. And now, Antarctica has become the world's game minister. You have become a brand yourself. What many game fans are chasing now is no longer the game, but the Antarctic as a whole. Therefore, no matter what type of game is released in Antarctica, there will always be a large number of basic players. This game is, sort of heaven. Let Xiao Ma act as an agent, he can rest assured. Definitely, Xu Dan is well aware of the advantages and disadvantages of the original version of, Heavenly Knife. When I used to play, Heaven Knife, I often met friends who left the pit after the plot, or turned to the scenery flirting party. Very few people play this game with heart. Even later, this game also had a nickname, Tianya Money Knife. If there are not a dozen or so mines at home, it is absolutely impossible to continue playing. This is also the main reason why Guafang online games have not been able to persist. Throughout the domestic martial arts themed online games, from the very beginning to the rapid decline, which one is not defeated by the word, money. As a game developer, Xu Dan has already understood the shortcomings, so naturally he must find a way to make up for them. First of all, let's start with the gameplay. Everyone knows that the gameplay of, Sword of Heaven, is rubbish. That being the case, then integrate the gameplay of other games. China used to be rich in countless martial arts online games, and there is a lot of material piled there, take the essence and discard the dross. Secondly, that is, pitting money. If a game cheats money for the sake of cheating money, such as a certain game, its existence will be meaningless, and it will ruin its earlier reputation instead. However, if a developer develops a game and ends up not making much money in the end, it is also a failure. There must be a degree in the middle. Don't sell fashions and decorations all day long, there are some things that players can explode by themselves. It is obviously such a huge and beautiful world, why not add a little sandbox element to it? As long as the players work diligently in the game, there will be combat ratings, fashions, and girls. Now that they are happy, Xu Dan is also happy. Gandhi is his favorite player type. Points are more important than money. Moreover, in the game, this is not the only change. Players don't even need to take the main storyline, it will be an open world, no matter which way to go, it is the player's freedom. Whether you are a robber, a flower picker, a prince, or a scholar. Even a little shepherd boy has wonderful ways to play. After three months of publicity, when winter is gradually leaving, people take off their thick puppets. Sword of Heaven, 
also announced that it will be launched simultaneously worldwide. The most enthusiastic responses are definitely Chinese players. Chinese players have unique emotions for Antarctic Company's modified version of Sky Knife. That is the love buried in the bones. Thousands of years of cultural heritage cannot be replaced by explosions, magic, or roars. Observation data from the background shows that in the short 10 hours since, Sword of Heaven, was launched, the number of Warcraft players in China has lost 70%. Definitely, they didn't abandon the game, but transferred to this martial arts game together. There are also some people who have never liked online games, when they saw the promotional advertisement of, Heaven Knife, they chose to try it without hesitation. Anyway, the game is completely free, and you won't lose anything if you play it. Even some uncles of a certain age walked into the internet cafe shirtless. This game is not the money-charging knife used by Zuntang. It is a game released by Antarctic Company, a well-known game manufacturer in the world, and represented by Brother Pony. At this time, the word-of-mouth effect perfectly reflects the shit. Even if the uncle born in the 70s doesn't care about what Angie Company is at all, what haunts his ears all day long is how awesome Angie Company is and how conscientious the boss of Angie is. Over time, a subconscious will also arise in their hearts, Antarctica is not only Antarctica, but also a very charitable and good company. Chen Zhongguo, a man born in that red era. Today, he is already an uncle in his 50s. When he walked into the internet cafe, he found that the poker players in his community were there. It seems that he is the only one who also dreams of martial arts. He happily walked over and reached out to pat the shirtless shirt. Snapped. Hey, old Wong, you're playing too. Which district are you in? Come on, let's play together, my son just taught me how to play this game. I'm in the Phoenix collection, dog day, hurry up. Chen Zhongguo boarded the game, and the picture in front of him stunned him. When I humbly asked for advice before, I didn't feel how the game was. But now when I play with myself, I realize that this is simply the gate to a new world. Plus, fly over the eaves and walk on the wall, punish the evil and help the weak. This jump is three feet high. Green shirt and long sword, chivalrous heart. This sword has a three-foot cold glow. This world is the perfect world he imagined in the storyteller's mouth. From the player's point of view, it's his own character's long hair like ink, and the craftsmanship of each strand of hair made the uncle's eyes sway, and he subconsciously touched the top of his head. He pressed the button and walked towards the mission location. The lush willow leaves in Yu Guangli are not as good as the beauty in my eyes. Ming Yuexin. Tom Tom. Heart beating. So beautiful. People in reality, even if they dress up thousands of times, are not as perfect as other women. As everyone knows, this is just Shu Dan's elementary level special effects optimization. If the medium level of Heaven Knife is optimized, I am afraid that all male players will lose their sense of real women. He manipulated the character and walked over, and an option box popped up immediately. Young Hero. This night, Washa Boiled. Heavenly Knife, produced by Shu Dan, can be said to embody China's night culture to the fullest. In the game, there are some Easter eggs from time to time, which embodies the great wisdom that only Chinese people understand. It's the first day of official operation, but it's 100% positive on the whole network. Whether it is a former professional troll, keyboard man, barman, or sailor, they have devoted themselves to this game this day. Admire its beauty and admire its rhyme. Even the relevant departments in China have specially invited Xu Dan to participate in some cultural Li Wang's speeches. On this point, he has no reason to refuse. He was originally a Chinese, with the characteristics of a real person. Anything that has been approved by the government is genuine and should be sought after by everyone. A game developer was invited by the relevant department. Just such a question is enough to attract many people. It also happens to be able to break some stubborn ideas. Playing games is just like watching movies. Once you fall into a certain work of a certain actor, you want to watch all the works of this actor. Sword of Heaven is like an introduction. Sucked away 60% of Washa's players from Warcraft and then fed back more players back. Now, many people are not only knights in the rivers and lakes, but also warriors in the mainland. Observing from the background data, China's online rate has now become the region with the highest proportion in the world. 
Because of this cultural resonance, the system points have also undergone a further surge. This made Shu Dan more determined to enrich the connotation of the game and improve the quality of the game. Let people not only play games, but also learn from them. This is one of the ways to keep the game fresh. Definitely, it is impossible for Sword of Heaven to be released only in China. This is the operation of Antarctic Company, and it will be launched simultaneously globally. Countless game fans are waiting for updates on Antarctic official website and platform every day. Once the promotional advertisement is released, these obsessed game fans, no matter what type of game it is, the disc will be over. Anyway, it is produced in Antarctica, did it trick people? No. It is difficult for Western players to understand Eastern philosophy, they can only see the beauty of the surface, which is completely different from the previous style of Antarctic games. A game company often creates games with similar styles. But Antarctica is different. In this game, there is no big muscular man, no elf with pointed ears. Yes, it's just the antique world that originated from China. Even the irascible youngsters on the streets of the United States, when they open this game, they will change their usual rush and their hearts will quickly calm down. Make a cup of tea and watch the spring rain all night. Although there are not many players in Europe, the evaluation of this, heavenly knife, on the forum is extremely high. That's the kind, although I don't understand, but in order to highlight that I am very knowledgeable, I must find a tricky angle and play this game again. John, this game has a very interesting setting, that is, when female players and male players ride horses, smaller women will ride sideways, but some female men will still ride astride. Oh, my god, the Antarctic dad is extremely careful in setting this setting. A masterpiece. Full score out of 10, I give it 10. Linzen, at the beginning, let me say, Godfather of Antarctica, forever and ever. As you can see, I am a Briton who likes Chinese culture very much. I have traveled the Great Wall of China on foot and lived in their ancient city Chang'an for a while. When I saw such a Washa Feng game produced by Angie Company, I knew that I had fallen. Very. Alicegia. I am a writer, and I usually like to play some games. From a writer's point of view, this game can completely turn the script into a novel. I'm used to watching those psychopaths who want to destroy the world at every turn in World of Warcraft, I think the setting of the characters in this game is very rich, everyone has flesh and blood and feelings, it is like a society. If Angie Company allows, I am willing to ghostwrite for free. I don't know if I have the qualifications woolen cloth. There is also a group of players that Shudan did not expect to give, Heavenly Knife, a good review island players. You know, in the background of, Sword of Heaven, the islanders are the, Japanese pirates, in the game, who are harvested and slaughtered by countless players as if they were wheat. To be reasonable, he didn't give any hope to that tiny place from the beginning. As a result, in the end, the 24-hour online rate of the island country region actually ranked among the top 5 in the world. New York, Antarctic Game Building, Tuck Tuck Tuck. Come in, Sky still looks the same, it's just that he has been enjoying nourishment for so many days, and now he looks good. Holding a stack of report documents in her hand, she said, Big Boss, this is a proposal submitted by the branch office, please have a look. Shu Dan took the file while enjoying my Shiranui service. Sky is already used to this, who knows why Shiranui Mai's body is so strong. She claims to be the leader of the kindergarten, but she can't stand the continuous bombardment of Shu Dan's cannon. Looking at the content on the document, Shu Dan's eyes gradually became weird. Life Foundation. His branch focuses on biotechnology research, and has now entered a normal operation mode, and all the first pot of gold has been invested in redevelopment. As for the Life Foundation, Shu Dan naturally knows about it. That is the Life Foundation in Venom who dared to go to space to collect alien symbiotes. Definitely, right now they haven't made such a big move. It's just that I didn't expect that the branch company could notice this life foundation with great potential in the future. JDB. Have you read the document, do you have any suggestions? Shu Dan asks Sky. I recommend the acquisition, definitely, it's my personal recommendation. Hearing this, Shu Dan directly closed the half-read document and said, then buy it. Ah, Sky was taken aback by Shu Dan's domineering behavior, and murmured, or, are you thinking about it? I'm just talking nonsense. 
Don't think about it, just tell the truth and go to the doctor. Oh, dot yes, I got it. Anything else? Skeleton paused and adjusted his mood. Afterwards, he slowly said, the last time we talked about holding the global game hegemony competition, we have already contacted the venues in various competition areas around the world. Look, the global game contest, this is no small matter. After such a long period of development, Antarctica has already possessed such qualifications. When, the king of fighters, was a small hit, he also funded and held a, fighting conference. Competitive games such as, Warcraft, and, Crossfire, are already popular, and it's time to think about it. Then let's hold it. Shu Dan directly knocked on the board and decided, and then seemed to remember something, by the way, have you chosen the entertainment star for the opening ceremony of the final? The global hegemony contest is a long process. There are so many players in the world, and the teams they form are enough to circle the earth a dozen times. And in the end, there are only two teams that can reach the finals. There are too many teams to be eliminated, and it takes too much time. I'm afraid that even if the competition starts today, it will be the end of summer by the time it reaches the finals. There is still so much time, but Shu Dan is already asking for the list of the opening ceremony of the final, which really stumps Sky. I, I haven't thought of that much yet. She replied honestly. Shu Dan didn't mean to pursue it, but said, give me a list as soon as possible. Yes, go ahead. In the afternoon, an unexpected visitor came to the company. That is, the chief of S.H.I.E.L.D. who is known as the Corned Egg, Nick Fury. His sudden arrival made Shu Dan inexplicably feel some trouble. As the saying goes, if you have nothing to do, go to the Temple of Three Treasures. This S.H.I.E.L.D. director is obviously a busy person, so how could he come to his game company casually on weekdays? Sure enough, Nick Fury came with preparations. How are you, Shu Dan? Shu Dan ignored Nick Fury's farting greeting and looked towards his hand, what are you holding? It's a tablet, man. What are you bringing that thing to my company for? Quote quote, I'm leaving get off work, this way please. Nick Fury quickly stood in front of Shu Dan, please, don't be like this buddy. Maybe we can sit down and have a good chat. Shu Dan glanced at Nick Fury, I haven't been paid for helping you find Tony last time, when are you going to pay? Hearing this, Nick Fury's old face became even darker. He scratched his bald head silently, and said, isn't your company planning to separate out the hardware development department? I can provide some support. It's big support, not some support. Well, well, I can't play word games with you. Seeing that Nick Fury had compromised, Shudan sat back in the boss chair contentedly. With the help of Tony, the hardware technology department has grown up now, and the little Red Queen has also become more and more experienced in various assistants. But after all, this is just a department of his company, and it is impossible to tie the dignified Tony Stark all the time. After Tony left, Ethan became the chief here. Now, with the rapid development of financial support, the hardware department can completely become a branch company independently. Even the name of the record has been chosen, it is called, Nanji Technology Company, Limited. Shu Dan took out a mint candy from the drawer and asked, tell me, what are you going to do this time? Seeing that the topic finally turned to the topic, Nick Fury picked up the tablet, operated a little on the screen, and called up a video. Look, it's this video. Definitely all of the United States have watched this video. I know we can't beat you technically, but I can be sure that the person who killed the monster in the video is you. Even if I have no evidence to say. Seeing this, Shu Dan didn't change his face, so, you don't even have any evidence, why are you talking nonsense? Seeing that Shu Dan refused to admit it, Nick Fury showed a definite look. He's dealt with a lot of similar things. It's just that other people will more or less reveal some flaws, but this person is flawless. Please, Shu Dan, do you need me to try? I'm not an outsider, so don't hide it. I think you'd better not try it. Shu Dan smiled slightly. That smile made Nick Fury, who has experienced many battles, feel the chill on the back of his neck. Killing intent. This guy is really a smiling Shira, is he going to kill his friends every now and then? Made, more cruel and ruthless than their agents. Okay, okay, I see. Nick Fury paid the dead on the spot, but, as the king of agents, even if he pays the debt, 
the purpose of this trip will not change, so, Shu Dan, can we can't talk about another thing. What's up? I want to invite you to join Shield. Don't rush to refuse. Let me talk about the benefits first. After you join, you don't need to do any work. You only need to do it when we can't handle it, and we can give you the permissions are also very rich, you can have many identities at the same time, the secrets of the world will be presented to you, and you will even get an additional level 7 agent authority directly. You may not know what the level 7 privilege is, let me give it to you let me introduce you, that is. I reject. Nick Fury had an MMP face on his face, and he said don't rush to refuse, but he turned down such an attractive offer after all. What idea? Is it that difficult to join a shield? Director Nick, you should give up your mind. No matter if you try to figure out my technology or anything else, I will not join shield. It's not a question of whether you give permission or not. Why? No reason. Nick Fury fell into a long silence. Before looking for Shu Dan, he looked for Tony Stark. That cocky guy, all very readily became S.H.I.E.L.D. consultants. Why does Shu Dan not like S.H.I.E.L.D.? He was invited to join before, and he declined. Now that I have cooperated many times, he still refused. Well, in fact, S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't have to ask you to join. Nick Fury muttered, silently saving a trace of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s dignity, actually, in this world, there are many, many superhuman beings like you, and some of them have heavy responsibilities to uphold justice in secret. Some people are corrupted by power and become super criminals. I know, then what? Seeing Shu Dan whose tone became more and more violent, Nick Fury withered silently. He stood up very disappointed, looked at Shu Dan with his mouth curled up, and planned to leave. But just walking to the door of the office, he turned around and asked, Shu Dan, my friend, can you tell me where you hid Dr. Bruce Banner? Brooklyn, Shu Dan replied without raising his head. Thanks. Nick Fury thanked him coolly, and then quickly went downstairs, he was going to find Bruce Banner. In this world, there are actually many, many abnormal powers, but ordinary people can't see them at all. And S.H.I.E.L.D. manages exactly this anomaly. Zero. He raced all the way to Brooklyn, and came to the Antarctic Biotechnology Branch with a very clear purpose. After such a long period of development, the products of Antarctic Biotechnology Branch have opened up the Brooklyn market. Brooklyn is the most populous area in New York, and the branch office earns considerable profits. Although the popularity is not as good as the Antarctic game, Nick Fury doesn't know it. He silently waited for the trademark, and then swaggered towards the company's gate. The two guards gave him the same look, but ignored him, which hurt him very much. After entering the company, he couldn't find a single idler. Occasionally, the white coats passing by were in a hurry, and no one cared about his bald head at all. Here comes the question, where the hell is Bruce Banner? This was originally a task for Tony's consultant, but Tony spent a lot of time in Shu Dan's hardware technology department, and now after returning, he is busy developing his own Mark battle suit and has no time to find Bruce Banner at all. Well, this job, Nick Fury can't sit still and watch. Then he can only stand up and watch now. Hello, can someone talk to me? Someone glanced at him, but it was quickly regarded as a decoration and ignored the doctor. Fact. Shu Dan tricked me again. Nick Fury touched his big bald head and felt the deep malice from Shu Dan. If he really wanted me to find Banner, he wouldn't be talking about Brooklyn. What a jerk. Nick Fury left cursing. Next day, in his place, another beautiful woman appeared. The beautiful woman named Natasha Romanoff is an elite female agent, the industry gave her a nickname, Black Widow. Although I don't know the meaning of this, Black Widow, maybe it's to describe her spider-like beauty. Natasha Romanoff looked around, feeling quite helpless. With her beauty, she couldn't touch any of the white coats here. It seems that these men in white coats have no feelings for women. Are they all perverts? Yep, they're all freak researchers. Otherwise, how could someone dare to experiment with his second brother? Okay, no one cares about me, I'll look for it myself. The task Nick Fury gave her was to persuade Bruce Banner to join the organization, or sleep with Shu Dan. There are a lot of information about these two people in S.H.I.E.L.D. Bruce Banner, may become a green titan at any time, can blow up a tank with one hand, the risk factor is 999. Shu Dan, genius game developer, handsome, tall, rich. 
If any woman chooses, she will definitely choose the second one. Natasha Romanoff is no exception. However, when she saw that my Shiranui who had a better figure and higher appearance than her, she wisely gave up the plan of Shudan in sleeping clothes. If you want to convince Bruce Banner, you must first find his people. In such a huge company, she really didn't dare to break into it casually. There is a weird atmosphere everywhere, and in broad daylight, this place looks like a spooky cemetery. Natasha Romanoff groped her arms subconsciously. She was wearing a bunt today, which was more casual. Because it makes it easier for others to let their guard down. She searched all the way and witnessed one horrible experiment after another with her own eyes. Even an elite agent like her wanted to take out a gun to take precautions. Is Bruce Banner working in such an environment? Or, is he actually the subject of research? Black Widow Natasha Romanoff thought wildly. No one paid attention to her, she just searched so slowly and aimlessly, finally, she boarded a floor that looked very luxurious. Looking at the level of technological equipment here, if the expectations are correct, Dr. Bruce Banner must be on this floor. Wow, I found it. Natasha Romanoff proudly stepped out of the elevator and was about to walk towards the laboratory. In front of her, a red figure appeared like a ghost. The sudden appearance of the red figure made Natasha Romanoff tremble. Due to the rapid reaction of the agent, she took out the pistol hidden under her clothes in a few tenths of a second and pointed the gun at the little red figure. Ha! Huh, Natasha Romanoff froze. Because the figure in front of her is actually illusory, and it looks like a little girl. This is the Red Queen. You shouldn't have come here, please leave quickly. The Red Queen warned lightly. However, Natasha Romanoff didn't care about the warning. She was a person with a lot of experience and could think of what kind of existence this red figure was. Then, she took the initiative to ask. Hi, may I ask, where is Bruce Banner? Do you have an invitation? No. Do you have the access code? No. Then please leave. Oh. Natasha Romanoff was disappointed. She thought this was a very high-level artificial intelligence, but in the end it was also an artificial mentally retarded person who needed to constantly verify her identity. She intends to ignore the Red Queen directly and look for Bruce Banner on this floor by herself. Stepping forward, she passed through the projection of the Red Queen and walked towards the laboratory ahead. However, in the next second, the Red Queen's figure shifted again, blocking her again. Warning. I am the Red Queen of the Antarctic Total Defense System. If you continue to move forward, you will be attacked defensively. Natasha Romanoff looked down at the little red girl, her eyes didn't change, but her heart was full of shoulders. An artificial mentally handicapped person, what kind of actions can he do, and he can still hold a gun and shoot her like a human being. She ignored the Red Queen and continued to move forward. Scandium. Thump 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 thump. A series of sounds startled Natasha Romanoff, and she bent down subconsciously. It turned out that there was a wall in the corridor, and it looked very solid. And the original light blue light turned into a warning red in an instant. Looks like there's trouble. Until now, Natasha Romanoff still doesn't feel anything terrible. After all, she is an elite agent, and the things she has experienced are more complicated than this. However, she soon discovered that the situation this time was far from being as simple as being imprisoned. Ziz. Natasha Romanoff frowned, watching a dazzling white light appear from the other side of the line of sight. Laser. She finally felt scared. In such a confined space, not far away, there is this beam of laser light slowly slashing like a death god razor. If the prediction is correct, there may be more than just this laser beam. Sure enough, after she dodged the first laser beam, two more laser beams appeared from the other end. The two laser beams went up and down, and Natasha Romanoff dived through the middle. Next, there are four. Horizontally and vertically, the four lasers are connected vertically, leaving a very small space. Natasha Romanoff licked her lips and tensed up. It took less than a minute, and she had to show her strength as an elite agent. It was really. Now, how dare she think that the Red Queen is an artificial mentally retarded, that is a proper electronic killer. Seeing the four lasers getting closer and closer, Natasha Romanoff suddenly had an idea and chose to lie flat on the ground. The four laser spaces are divided into nine grids. She lay flat on the ground with her hands and feet together, not too big or too small just enough for that small grid. 
the laser is almost slashed against her breasts. If her cup size is even bigger, she will probably be cruelly peeled here. Call. When the laser light passed by, she quickly stood up and let out a long sigh of relief. However, what awaited her were eight diagonally interlaced lasers. The four laser beams divided the space into nine equal parts, and she passed it with trepidation. Now, there are actually eight. Eight lasers almost form a net, I am afraid only one cat can jump over it. And it can't be an orange cat. My god, it's over. Natasha Romanoff was constantly cursing Nick Fury in her heart, what is wrong with her, she insisted on sending this task. How to avoid this laser? There was no way to hide, she could only run to the other end and hit the wall hard. Seeing the laser net getting closer and closer, there is despair in the eyes. The laser net is approaching little by little. Natasha Romanoff's eyes widened. She wanted to ask for help, but she couldn't make a sound, so she could only stick tightly to the wall. Finally, the laser was approaching, the clothes on her body were vulnerable, a hole was burned through the thin t-shirt in an instant, followed by her Wen Yuishong. It is not difficult to imagine that it was directly divided into several pieces by the laser what a vision of bloodless flesh. Black Widow closed his eyes in despair. At that critical moment, the fishing net made of laser light dissipated in midair. That horrible laser, the whole process only left a small hole in her clothes, it didn't hurt her at all. Ben was frightened into a cold sweat, she had no time to think, she just breathed the air greedily, almost died. At this time, a red figure suddenly appeared in this confined space like a ghost. The Red Queen looked at Natasha Romanoff who was bending over and panting, and said calmly, this is the last warning, please leave. Quote dot 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 quote. Needless to say after Red Queens, now Natasha Romanoff can't wait to grow ten legs and run away. Who would want to come to this ghostly place? Open this wall, please. The Red Queen didn't reply, and controlling this kind of smart wall was just a matter of a series of instructions from her, just like a fairy controlling the wind and cloud, all it takes is one thought. Rumble. With a heavy sound, the wall made of alloy slowly rose under strong power. When Natasha Romanoff waited for a 30-centimeter opening to appear, she couldn't help but quickly slipped out from below. Here, she doesn't want to stay here for a second now. It's an abnormal scientist again, and it's a weird red ghost again. It's even scarier than a cemetery in the middle of the night. In S.H.I.E.L.D., Natasha Romanoff reports to director Nick Fury. Brazed Dan had a gloomy old face. Do you know that we have sent people to target him since his intergenerational imaging technology that surpassed hardware limitations back then? Why are we still unable to attract this talent? Can you tell me what the problem is? Nick, maybe we shouldn't force him to join S.H.I.E.L.D. After all, that man is the founder of Antarctic Company. It's good to maintain such a cooperative relationship, isn't it? What about the Antarctic Company? We can even invite Tony Stark, why doesn't he go? Maybe it's because of Howard's relationship. Speaking of Howard, beyond the limits of the hardware, even Howard Stark couldn't do it back then. Why did he do it? Maybe he's a genius or something. Isn't Howard a genius? He should be stronger. Nick Fury was speechless and nodded silently. The release of Heaven Knife represents Antarctic Company showing its connotation and heritage to the world. Antarctica is not a company that only creates fantasy, but a company with rich cultural heritage. In this way, Antarctic Company's reputation has once again increased in the world. In this day and age, fame affects the economy, otherwise there would not be continuous advertising companies emerging as the times require. Within a few months, the Antarctic Company recovered the funds released by the big purchases and investments that year. In Shu Dan's life, he can finally have an occasional leisurely vacation. It happened that Li would just bought her own real estate, and she was going to move today, so Shu Dan followed. Definitely, neither he nor Riva needed to do it himself. After all, they are all executives of world-class companies, and they don't have a few people to direct them, so isn't that a bargain? The two stood in the living room of the shared house, directing a few small company employees to carry the wooden wardrobe. Suddenly, a voice came in from outside the door, Hey, Liwa, are you back? Boss Shu is here too. I saw the car outside, and I was shocked. The two looked sideways, and it turned out to be Liwa's shared roommate, Daisy Louise. Shu Dan still pays close attention to this big girl. 
for no other reason than she is Jane Foster's assistant. Hello, Daisy, Shu Dan greeted politely. Daisy, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you in advance that I'm going to move. Liwa blamed herself a bit. After all, she was a roommate, so no matter what, she had to say hello in advance if she wanted to move out. However, the big girl Daisy has a broad mind, patted Yu Shang's mouth and smiled, what are you talking about? Goddess Liwa, you don't stay here for three days, you go to live in a big villa, I'm used to it. This girl is very calm. Liwa does often live in Shu Dan's house, after all, she has great physical needs, which can only be met by Shu Dan. In the eyes of adults, this is not a topic that is ashamed to talk about. Looking at Liwa who has turned into a butterfly, Daisy's heart is full of envy. Back then, when she heard that she was only working in a small game studio, she felt anxious for Liwa in her heart. At that time, Liwa was still a simple child, but now she has been trained to be an elite in the workplace. And that studio has also become the famous Antarctic company today. The man in front of him is the god who single-handedly turned Antarctic company into its present glory. Young, promising, and reportedly not promiscuous. What woman doesn't like such a man? Definitely that's what Daisy heard. If you let her see Sanyan fighting Kitu in the office, she will understand. Daisy intentionally or unintentionally pushed aside her low moon dress, so that the white daughter inside could be more lively. Shu Dan unconsciously glanced a few more times. Maid, really white clothes, oh no, big clothes. The shape of my Shiranui is different from that of my Shiranui. I don't know what it feels like to make such a big white disc. Cough. At this moment, Liwa, who had a keen sixth sense, coughed lightly. Shu Dan hastily looked away. After all, Kai Guago looked at each other like this, it was very impolite. Oh, by the way, we should go. That cabinet is the last one. Nothing left in the room. No, Liwa said sadly. Walk slowly, be careful on the road. Daisy said hello. While thinking, the activity with Jane Foster is a dead end, and there is no prospect of development at all. For the sake of your own life, should you find a serious and stable job? EMMM. With my professional knowledge and ability, maybe I can apply for a job in Antarctic Company and have a chance to be a cleaner. Well, after finishing the matter of Jane Foster, apply for the job. Looking at Shu Dan's back, Daisy thought silently. The new house that Liwa bought was not a villa on the scale of Shu Dan, but rather a luxurious suite. She bought the hardcover directly, saving the trouble of decoration. After finishing setting up the furniture, it was already four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Seeing the tired employees of the company, Shu Dan nodded with satisfaction, thank you, you will have a day off with pay tomorrow, and today's hard work will be included in the bonus. Just such a sentence made several people ecstatic, and instantly forgot the exhaustion just now. After they thanked each other, they hugged each other and left. It seemed that they had run to the dark. After moving to a new house, it is generally necessary to have a party. But Liwa invited only two people, that is her two comrades in arms. The Sanyan battle against the Kitu once again unfolded in Liwa's new house. The next day, surrounded by octopus, Shu Dan struggled. He took a deep breath, packed up and went out the door. Others can rest as much as they like, but he is a luxury enough to rest for a day, and the value of time is different for people with different identities. He drove straight into Brooklyn. In the past few months, Banner's research has been his main concern. When he verified the permissions and entered the lab, Banner was still doing experiments. I saw that he plugged thin wires into the small head of a small white mouse, the other end was connected to the helmet, and the helmet was connected to a monitor, and there were also 10 3D modeled white mice in the monitor. What are you doing? Seeing that the person who came was Shu Dan, Banner explained, according to my plan, the virtual game helmet should have been preliminarily completed, and I am now doing experiments to see if I can connect. Dot 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 quote. Hearing this, Shu Dan looked down at the poor little white mouse. By the way, what thoughts can this little thing have? Could it be that Banner really couldn't find the experimental material, and the group used a small white mouse instead? At this time, shouldn't a perverted research institute like ours get one or two living people back for experiments? Ahem, is it reliable for you to experiment with mice? Or, Shu Dan coughed twice and asked Banner. Banner waited for Shu Dan to look at it for three seconds with a look of horror. 
Please, brother, the experiments done by the people below were almost blocked last time. I think you have been conniving. You are amazing. Shu Dan raised his hand helplessly, and explained indifferently, this doesn't allow research, that doesn't allow research, how can we progress if we only want human progress? Do you blow it with your mouth? Banner was so rebutted that he had nothing to say, so he had no choice but to return to the topic. He pointed to the model mouse on the computer and said, Actually, this experiment is very simple. I am using a wired connection now because it is easier. The mouse can be regarded as the player, the game helmet as the relay, and the model mouse on the computer as the character in the player's game. As long as the real mouse doesn't move, but the computer mouse moves, then the experiment was a success. Listening to Banner's explanation, Shu Dan nodded. This seemingly complicated circuit is actually very simple. In fact, it is to intercept neuron instructions into the virtual world. After the helmet is officially successful, these lines will be compressed into a well-shaped helmet. And the part of the line connected to the computer will also be cancelled and transformed into a wireless connection to the server. At this moment, Banner suddenly exclaimed in a small voice, It's not moving, it's not moving. Then, the two looked at the computer screen not far away. The real mouse has stopped moving, now, just wait for the mouse in the computer to move. But a second passed, and the model didn't move. Two seconds passed. Four seconds passed. Hiss, is there something wrong? Maybe, I don't think it's good to experiment with mice, I should find someone to try it. Absolutely not, I have no opinion on anything else, except for this matter. The equipment is still in the experimental stage. Before the connection of the brain nerves we made is 100% safe, I absolutely do not agree with it. Use. Banner suddenly became serious. Seeing his righteous words, Shu Dan shook his head with a smile, you're just kidding, don't take it seriously. You're a idiot. Banner looked at the computer screen in surprise, and sure enough, the mouse model on the computer moved. It is exactly the same as the struggling action of the previous mouse. This means that he has finally connected the real world with the virtual world through neuron connections. However, this joy did not last long. Along with the mouse model in the computer twitching, the heart rate detector at the other end also let out a mournful beep. This sharp sound announced the death of the little white mouse. Sure enough, this experiment is dangerous. The movement of the little white mouse only lasted for a few seconds, and it couldn't hold on to death. Fortunately, this time the experiment was only done on mice. If you really listened to Shu Dan's nonsense and experimented with living people, what would you do if you killed someone? Alas, failed. It can't be said that all failed, at least the mouse struggled a few times, right? Shu Dan said. But Banner still looked disappointed. He said, I have adjusted the energy input to the minimum value, but it still failed in the end, it seems that I still need to study for a while. Shu Dan patted Banner on the shoulder, saying everything without saying anything. The psychological pressure of doing development work is actually great. Because what he is doing is an unprecedented research, this kind of development has no reference, and he does it entirely with his own ability. Which step to take depends on your own creation. It is not easy for Banner to persist until today. If it weren't for the high nutrition meals provided every day, I'm afraid Qian Zhaohao would have been bald long ago. Shu Dan drove away from the biotechnology company silently and headed for the Antarctic game building. He now has a certain understanding of the progress of the virtual game helmet, so he plans to start from another angle. Virtual gaming helmets are the key to virtual gaming, if humans cannot connect, then everything is useless. But the facts now prove that the connection can be successful, but it is not stable enough. Then while Banner is adjusting, he will start to make the real content of this virtual game. From the virtual game being put on the agenda to the fact that Banner is producing a semi-finished helmet, the virtual game has not yet started, but the relevant content is reflected in Shudan's mind every day, and it is getting more and more rich every day. Virtual games are not a child's play, and it is true to open a new era, but the essential playability of the game cannot be ignored because of this. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.